Yo, yo, my people, how's everyone doing? Good, lovely, lovely, lovely. Salaamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And welcome to a new episode of Current Events. Good afternoon, Mr. Nadir. Do the song, do the song. It's coming, it's coming, just chill out. It's coming. It's coming home. It's coming. <laughs> we said that last week as well. Current Events. How does it start? It starts with... Current Events. Current Events. This is current events. Hello? I think I'm shouting already. Yeah, you sound like you, you, you should work for CBBs. CBBs, what's that called? CBBs. Yeah, you, you sound like you should have a show. People saying I look like Mr. Tumble. Who's that? <laughs> Some brother that Did does... Who's <laughs> <laughs> that? It's good, on, man. You're looking a bit purple today. Yeah, I saw you the minute you walked in, you were wearing a purple, mashallah. You're looking a bit... The bi- biceps are popping. White. Today. Yeah, <laughs> you get me. It's, it's the, the colors that that exuberate Iman apparently. Yeah, I think I'm. Define what exuberate? Exuberant, exuberant. Exuberant, that's it. Yeah. Exuberant is like um, uh, I think it means like full of energy. Yeah. Mm, mm. See, white white portrays a lot of energy, and then yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit mad. Anyway, talk to me, man. How, how how's your day been? What did you do today? Went for a run. Yesterday. So what I did? Yesterday. <laughs> oh, what about today? I was just um, chilling. Chilling. Mashallah. Chilling. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> <laughs> you went for a run? No, I didn't. I went. I I, I trained yesterday. Okay. So I was like, allow it. Uh, what did you not do? Just find drills like just sprinting. Mm. Like normal run. Not like that. Yeah. Inshallah. Did it with my friends. I know, oh I saw it. I saw it snap. He vomited. I swear? Yeah. He How come? Like what type of drills are you lot doing? Like running drills? Sprinting, sprinting. Okay. Yeah, so like there'll be cones. Yeah. You sprint each one. Okay. Do you it's get like a... It's basically like two minutes of sprinting. Do you get any rest? Do you get a rest on that? Yeah, of course. Mm. It's like two minutes of sprinting and then rest. And then two minutes of sprinting, rest. Two minutes of sprinting. So high intensity interval yeah, training. Yeah. High intensity interval training. Wow. Inshallah. May Allah bless them. May Allah bless them all. They're all on this running thing. Can't lie. Speaking of running, I um, don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but cheeky plug here, at Zach Bendif, if you, if you haven't followed me already. Well, basically, what I've started doing is um, every single day, I've started this thing now where you um, run 27 miles in 27 days. For I think I spoke about this last week, but for a charity called The Mind Charity. And this is to raise awareness for um, uh, like students in university. Now I know like, we speak about this all the time, especially on current events, um, and we talk about how people have been struggling with their mental health and stuff like that. But I feel as though I know myself, um, running really has helped me in terms of uh, trying to gain that, <sighs> I wouldn't say happiness, but like contentment in, in your head. Um, this guy's but, waffling right but now. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, be serious. I'm actually, I, I think you've what seen What the dopamine, you mean? Yeah, it gives so you what, like So a, when a if you run in the morning, you're going to have energy throughout the whole day. 150%. Exuberation. Exub- bears. <laughs> well, I, I started it yesterday. I did it today. Alhamdulillah, it's been very good. No, that's good. I think uh, We've got someone here from California. Hello, Aman uh, Ali. Salam from California. Give me a California accent. Cali. Cali. I don't even know how to <laughs> do that, bro. <laughs> Why are you laughing like that? <laughs> oh yeah, you on. do one. You're good. You, you can do accents. Nah, I don't have an American accent. Oh my God. Really? <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Chill out. It's about to get cut, cut off. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> well, yeah, man. You cut me off when I was talking about my, my running... Uh, Journey. I think you should do a challenge, you know. Wallahi. What I challenge? think I think you should do like a running challenge up until Ramadan. Like like a you said you you had to raise money, right? Well it's not really raise money, it's more raise awareness. Raise awareness and yeah. raise money as well. Yeah. So you, I think you should do it ch- like a running challenge. Oh. Like a running I don't know, like something like obviously you can't do any marathons. Yeah. So try to do I was gonna do you a virtual d- one. Yeah, you yeah. was gonna do like a January one, right? If yeah, it, no, if, no, no, if no. it went through. Even after Ramadan, I'm doing the one in May. I'm doing a virtual marathon. So it's where, so it's where you use the app on your phone. and I've seen it. I've seen yeah. it. I understand. Yeah, so explain it though. You use the app on the phone. You run 
and then they send you the medal home instead of getting <laughs> why do I keep laughing at you like look at you today I don't know look at this guy what's going on I don't know what's going on man uh, it's very funny I keep seeing purple it's very your camouflage but yeah it's <laughs> camouflaged as well fam <laughs> um, but yeah what's I saying it's crazy man um, oh, I forgot my train of thought you're talking about your marathon, the virtual yeah, one. Yeah, I was saying, trying to do that. Trying to do the virtual marathon thing. And, um, yeah, just do it that way. I don't know. But alhamdulillah. But no, I, f- I think you should do, like, a challenge. Go give me a challenge. Like, run 10k a day. Yeah, you're mad. Why? Y- you're mad. Why? But my legs will die out. You know that's days. an actual challenge? The, my legs will die out within three, four days. That's like the, that's like yeah, fun. but after those three or four days, it becomes habit and then you, sh- you get nah, stronger. It's so difficult. Uh, you know what? But you know what you can do? Yeah. I'm running in miles go, now, by the way. No, no. You go, you go, oh, you're miles, man, now. Yeah, just switch up. Okay. It's the mental game. You know what you do? Yeah. You have to slow, like, slowly run the 10 kilometers. You don't do that at your full, like, full pace, like how you would run a 5K. Mm. With the 10K, you take your time with it. I see that. I see that. I see you that. You see it. I can't lie, though. We're forgetting about what current events really is. Yeah, we're tell forgetting me. forgetting about the articles, man. The articles? You yeah. Some articles? Yeah, man. Read me I some articles. I thought you were just trying to have a conversation. Act. We, like have cool. we have that with the articles and then the conversation. Do you want to read the first one or should I? You may read the first one because everybody just loves to violate me saying that apparently I can't read even though I'm an English teacher. But it's mad. It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Someone you said you run to... try to prove them wrong. Amana Ali said run to Hajj. That's a bit mad. That's a mad challenge. I don't think that's possible. Nah, I think they've cycled to Hajj. We spoke about that, innit? Yeah. Go on. The man I said, mashallah. Um, so the first article... <laughs> Mm-hmm. It's a bit of an unusual one. This is from the Mirror. Okay. They always bring the unusual, funny article. So, full start here. All right. So. By the way, you know what I forgot? Yeah. I forgot to have a conversation with the camera and say something. Nah, you already did that. Nah, I didn't say one thing. What? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say one thing. One thing I haven't said is actually we are still on the lookout for commentary of the week this week. Please. Yeah, that's that's standard. They know that. Nah, I think they've forgotten. So if you've joined us, if you're brand new and you're joining us on current events. This is the eighth week of current events. Um, I know it says number nine, uh, but that's because we've added uh, an extra one from the the Flash episode with Boris Johnson where we had a conversation about him, not with him. Um, but, <laughs> um, yeah, so we look out for commentary of the week. So if you're uh, uh, as many as many people as possible that are speaking to us on the comments, we're going to be looking out for who's given the most amazing conversation for us. All right? All right. So... What's the prize? The prize is nothing. The prize is shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the prize is a shout out. And um cool. yeah. Also a little plug. But um we have a super chat, don't we? Mm mm mm. Where, uh, where's you the, the new super chat? Yeah. That goes to supporting the podcast. Mm. From the freshly grounded okay. team. Okay, and where do they find that? They find that in the bottom left if they're using there. Android. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the bottom left if they're using the, the, the laptop, and then top bottom right if they're using the telephone. Telephone. <laughs> Where's my telephone? <laughs> you want to get into the article, yeah? Yeah. All right, listen. So it's titled Lucky Woman Finds Lump of Whale Vomit. Yes, Whale Vomit mm-hmm. worth 185k. Pounds, okay. yeah, 185,000 pounds while walking along a beach. Why is this man dying? I don't know. But listen to, listen to this. Yeah. Siripo Niamrin, that's her name. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? I'm okay, I'm Chill okay. Out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Siripo uh, yeah. Niamrin. Are you, are you laughing at the fact that I can't say it? No, no, no. I was just thinking about it. Cool, about whatever. Anyway, she found um, she stumbled upon the unusual mass in um, Thailand and decided she would drag it back home, half a kilometer away from um, realizing its value. Mm-hmm. So this 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 whale vomit, yeah, it's kind of not it's not vomit. It's something that just gets kind of it's like it's in the intestines of the whale. Mm-hmm. It's like a hard rock. It's called ambergris. Okay, have you ever heard of that? No. So ambergris, you never heard of ambergris. No. So ambergris is used for like f- fragrances, like perfumes. Okay. Like musk. Okay. Musk. Sunnah musk. Have yeah. you ever seen musk, like proper musk? Yeah. How, how's it like? Oud. 
No, no, actual musk, like, like a ball of musk or like a cube of musk. You've never seen it? No, I've seen the cube. Now I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I've yeah, seen yeah. the cube, yeah, yeah. That's what this is basically is. Okay. Kind of. So the whale did what? The vomit is it. Okay. Yeah, so the whale... Let me, let me read the article. So a lucky woman found a huge lump believed to be expensive whale vomit washed up near her beach house. Um, so she was w- walking along the beach after a rainstorm when she noticed a strange mass um, on February 23rd. Mm. She walked up closer to the substance to have a look and found it had a fishy smell. Mm. Obviously, that's coming from the, f- the whale's stomach, isn't it? Yeah. Um, thinking that it could be something she could sell, the 49-year-old dragged it back to her house, which was around 500, 500 meters from the beach. Um, mm. it, it, the the yeah, oval... Do me a favor, yeah? Yeah, go on. Let's go like that. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, and so here we have the actual because on on camera. They okay, can <laughs> they can see the, the yeah. oval. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. So okay, if okay, you go okay. like that, I hear yeah. that still. Yeah, so yeah, the oval shaped lump that you're seeing on the screen right now weighs mm-hmm. seven kilograms and is about twelve inches wide, twenty four inches long. Uh, based on previous sales, the weight could, uh, the weight would give the vomit, um, also known as ambergris, an estimated value of one hundred eighty six thousand and five hundred pounds. Okay. You get so ambergris basically. Let me explain what ambergris is. It's, it's, it's shown in the picture. It's like a kind of like a lumpy rock thing, mm-hmm. and they use it in fragrances to kind of, um, you know, keep keep the fragrance smelling l- um, fresh for longer. Okay. So without it, the the, fra- the the fragrance will lose its smell. Yeah. You understand? Okay. And you know what? You know what's mad? Yeah. Uh, dogs, dogs um, can smell it, so they use dogs. In a beach, like like look for this sort of stuff. Mm. Have you ever been to like a beach here? Yeah? Like you've gone swimming, you come out, and like dogs are always coming up to you. You never never had that. <laughs> never in my life. Yeah, basically, where? like the seawater. Yeah, like it attracts dogs. Yeah, attracts it attracts dogs, dogs and okay. they come up to you. Yeah, bro, it happened. Oh, it happened to me once. I was just swimming, and then every single like I was the only one that swam, mm-hmm. and every single dog that walked past, they always come to me. Mm. They'll come smell my legs and stuff. We've heard yeah, it. Interesting, first. interesting facts, isn't it? Uh, did they pronounce the name again, though? Ambergris. Not the other one. Oh, silly uh, Oh, okay. Inshallah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, I think I pronounced no, it right. I just want you to, uh, to pronounce it again. Yeah, that's that, calm, that's calm. So I just thought I'd give it to them. But yeah, that's mad, Pana. So, well. Yeah, sh- basically, what you're spraying on yourself is whale vomit. Pretty much. Uh. It's not uh, it smells nice. But it's it's uh, musk, bro. It's like musky smell. Look, that's how. That's what I'm talking about. Like, have you ever seen like a little block? They sell yeah. it. They must sell it in that's Algeria, bro, in the markets. Of course, man. Like, that's original. Like uh, how it looks like. Wow. Mm. Mm. You know what? We've become a more like an educational form of um, media now. Not only like do that. we give banter and conversation, but we also give them educational purposes as well. Mm. Wow. So today you've taught everyone in the day that apparently um, in order for you to smell nice, you need to put v- whale vomit in yourself. Mm. Do, you want, do you want to know if that and Yeah. That's actually quite amazing. This mm-hmm. woman said that she's going to use her, this money to like help her community out. Oh, wow. Yeah. You don't really, like, uh, a lot of people, when they, like, win something. the lottery and stuff, mm. they don't even think about, like, their own community. They think about what they're going to do with the money. But I, I, I respect that. Would you so do the admirable. same thing? I found some whale vomit. Mm. Yeah, you'll be the first to, to get some. <laughs> I'll, send, I'll, send, I'll, send, I'll, I'll post some home. <laughs> so if, you, if, you, if you had a lot of money, what would you do with it? Oh, I don't know, man. Probably open up a coffee shop. Mm. And call it what? The day grounded? No. Nah. What? Maybe not a coffee shop. Maybe like a, a perfume shop. A perfume shop? Yeah. What would you do? What would you do with 185k? Ask the uh, uh, ask the comments. Yeah, ask them what they. What would, would do. everybody do if they had 885k in their disposal? What would you do? You don't know. I have to it's not much. It. I can't. Lie. It's not much. Oh, you probably just invest it. 185. Yeah, it's little investments here and there. Buy a watch. Yeah, watches are a good investment. Yeah, buy a cool watch. You know, you know, you know. To buy watches, like you have to like have a own like a high quality watch. Mm-hmm. You have to like build your own profile. Let's say you want to go to a Rolex. Mm-hmm. You can only own one of them at a time. Huh? Yeah. Because then you're not technically allowed to buy and sell them. Okay. You understand? It's like how PlayStation 5s. So you see how PlayStation like, 5s. They do have shoes now. 
kind of with shoes, but not much. Uh, but we see with PlayStation 5s, yeah. so everyone's trying to like buy them to sell mm-hmm. them again. The, the basically like if if they see that you've ordered a lot of PlayStation 5s to your home, yeah. they cancel the order because you strictly it's one per person. Okay. Yeah, but a lot of people obviously because there's value in it, resale value. They'll grab like 13, 14, 15. Oh, I've been trying to get one for so long, you know. I still can't get one. Because of people because that of are buying pe- so many. You, you know, hear? all you people, yeah. I'm just, all you people, yeah. Can't blame them, though. Like, they're just, they're they're trying just, to make, it's a grind, isn't it? They're trying to make money. But yeah. I'm trying to get PS5. And you mm. might try to give it to me on a high price. I'm not on it. But yeah, like, what was he saying? Watches. Yeah, watches. You can only have. You can only own one at a time. I didn't know that's Panda. Mm. Wow. And if you want to sell it, I think you have to sell it um, outside of Europe. I think. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, isn't it? All right, so as I said, I want to ask you guys a question. I want to know what you guys would do if you had £185,000 in your disposal. Nadir said he would drink coffee and go on a holiday. What, 150k? 180k? No, no, no. no. Like, I'll go on a holiday. Yeah. And then uh, when I get bored, I'll come back and just invest it smartly. Mm, where would you do you like a one-week, two-week holiday? I don't know. Somewhere nice, isn't it? Mm. There's a lot, there's a lot of nice places. Maybe go on two holidays. Two holidays? Yeah. Inshallah. I know a brother, yeah? I was actually talking to... There's a brother I know recently, actually. He's found like... He went to Dubai, got mm. bored, mm. went to Egypt, mm. got bored, went to Maldives. Got bored. Got bored, came back. Got bored. Got bored, went back to Dubai. <laughs> 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 what a life, the whole thing. But we've got a few f- people here that have said what they'll do. Um, so, CFC... Don't know if you support Chelsea or not, but <laughs> um, it looks like you do. Maybe Coventry, innit? Uh, yeah. Oh, Coventry. That's actually a good one. Um, but they said, I don't know whether it's a he or she, because I've made this mistake before where I've said somebody's a he when they're a she and vice versa, so I'm not going to do that anymore. Um, and they've said, I'd build an orphanage and invest some, open a business, save some, give some to my fam, and finally go to hedge. Wow. Shall yeah, no. I had, see, I keep, I keep messing that up. <laughs> 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 I'm not feeling about the good stuff, my brother. I'm feeling a bit selfish right here. <laughs> we always get violated, my brother. That's a given, though, isn't it? Like, yeah. Obviously, that was always in the back of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, other people have said people want a lot of money. Uh, so, Ikram Zain has said people want a lot of money, but after they have it, they don't know what to do with it. And then people change their character quickly after they got rich. Really? To be fair... It's a test. 185k isn't like being rich though, is it? It's it's a good it's a good start up for <laughs> a lot of like plans that you can you can make. You know, I find that crazy. You know you say that now, yeah? Yeah. How uh, 185 thousand yeah. pounds is not that much. It's not, it's not. I, I was having this conversation with a, sh- with a student of mine on Sunday, innit? And I forgot when they were t- what they were talking to me about, yeah. But I was talking to them about like ten pounds a day and the and they were telling me ten pound a day—that's a lot of money. Wow, mm. like that's that's it's relative, isn't it? Because remember when back back day, back back in the day, yeah, back day, back in the day. <laughs> Got back but, in the day. <laughs> yeah, back in the day, when like we were that age, like 10, 11 years old. Bro, ten pound a, a, a day would be. Bro, one mad. pound a day at yeah. one point was a lot. Like one pound a day was was enough, bro. Are you about to give us another story? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm <laughs> saying like one pound, a, one pound a day was how much Pokemon, sufficient. How much pocket money did you used to have like for for like school days? Monday to Friday. I didn't get pocket money. Nothing. Yeah, but you know what I used to do? I don't know if I should say this in it, but I used to grind. I used to like go to the shop. Oh uh, buy some drinks and crisps and soda. But that was a long time that yeah. was like early on, like year eight, year nine. And yeah. then I just stopped doing that. i actually started like selling clothes as well, designer clothes. Okay, mashallah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember you told me this actually. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. actually I actually know this one about you. Ah, uh, someone says cousin Nadir's wearing a PSG shirt. Well Tracky. it's not really shirt. Tracky. Money, money, money. <laughs> <laughs> Money, money, money. That's what I'm trying to say. Mashallah, Allah, Allah, Allah. <laughs> it looks good in it, though, isn't it? Let's let's all comment. What out of one to ten, how do you think it fits the day right now? Because <laughs> I can't lie, it fits banging. I'll be real with you. It fits. Chill out. Uh, this is a football. Walk, this is a football tracksuit. You, you, you well, like, walked into the room, yeah. I swear, I was like, Allah, my bag. This is nice. Keep that. <laughs> this is, this is what you gonna <laughs> keep that? It's extra large, though. I don't know if it'll oh, fit you. Oh man, <laughs> it's not me, bro. We'll but get you one. We'll get you one, inshallah. Yeah, it looks very nice. But yeah, one to ten. Um, anyway, uh, start <laughs> soccer team. Zach, I don't know how to spell your name. What do you mean start so? Oh, start a football team. You mean soccer? Huh? As in like with the money? Yeah. Oh, I would. Uh. That's actually a good one. But 
I just, I, I just make a brand where it makes, makes football shirts to me. You know what I would love to do? Like if I had um, some money that I can dispose of, obviously mm. in, a, in a beneficial way, mm. is I'll, I'll go to like back home Morocco mm-hmm. and I'll set up like a tournament for charity. Mm. And then that, that can what be tournament? reinvested like a football tournament. Okay. So that, like in Morocco, obviously you have different cities and different cities have different football clubs. But it's not that big compared to the UK yeah, yeah. and Germany and whatnot. Um, I'll, 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 I'll probably do like a you can obviously there's charity games there the same as we have charity games here mm. probably but do a charity game in Morocco and just kind of reinvest it in their own communities maybe even in their own players or something like that Cause I'll, I'll, that's actually something I want to do like for real that's very interesting subhanAllah yeah wow talking about Morocco you know there was, there was actually a flood in my city the oh, Tuan did you not see it? no yeah but look search the Tuan Wow, was there like mass, mass rain? It mass was rain. from yeah, a lot of rain. Yeah, the whole city just got it's flood. You're lying. Every yeah, like everyone's house is ruined. It's a cars, city though, isn't bro. It? The cars, yeah, the cars are like getting basically washed, like washed away from all the water. Ah, oh, mm. Yeah, I'll make it easy for Somebody them. Somebody asked what part of Maghreb are you from? Asked what part of Maghreb are you Tetuan. from? Yeah, he's from Tetuan. Tetuan and, and, and the other Ar- one? Arish. Arish. Spelt Larach. Larach, <laughs> I Wallah, you made me die laughing. Oh my God. I remember I had a conversation with somebody, yeah? yeah. Wallah, I asked him, I was like, so where are you from in Morocco? And he says, Larach. Larach. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm less the brother, but it's a bit mad still, Larach. Yeah, it's like saying Algiers, basically. No, but that's, that's more like... That, that's it's similar, you, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah... Um, we had W underscore that said a lot of money is a huge test though. It's kind of scary because you don't know how you would change as a person, and it's true. You think money changes people? Hundred percent, bro. I feel like you know who a person really is when 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 money's involved. Hundred percent. I don't care what you say at this point. You don't care. I care. I care. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, hundred percent. Money changes people. Allah. But sometimes uh, but it changes people for the better. <laughs> Sometimes it, ch- it changes people for the better, though. Yeah. Huh? Like, How? Yeah. Like well, as in the life, people. the lifestyle. It's helping people. Sometimes it humbles people. Like there's a, there's a lot of people that you know they get rich and they become so humble they're like they just don't they're not concerned about it and they're more concerned about helping others. I don't know how I'd react to be fair. I don't know. Make some money and find out, innit? Mm. <laughs> Give me some. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the brothers are saying you got money, my brother. Um, nah, Lonnie Risha says that apparently I look Albanian. Yeah, a lot of people say this. I get this all the time. I've had. What's the what? What do people say you're from? Like, what's the what's the guesses that you get? Guesses, yeah. boy. It just depends on. Can't lie. Just you know what? Let me ask. Where, where do you think the day is from? If you didn't know where he was from, where would you think he's from? Yeah, that'll be interesting. I get that a lot. You know, I get that whole Albanian, I get Italian, cool Lebanon. When I was young, I used to get Italian all the time. Yeah. So imagine me without a beard. Yeah. Yeah, it's get Italian all the time. Yeah, no other vibes. Is he Italian? The, the footballer. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Something like that. Yeah. Health is wealth, apparently. Inshallah, no more back. Health mm. is wealth. But yeah. I, I think like that one. I think we swiftly we move to our next oh, um, cool. article. Go on, go ahead. Do you look? Take it away. <sighs> wow. <coughs> Let's clear my throat for this one. What is this Which one, one are you on? Daily Mirror. Another one. So, woman pulls up carpet to find a hidden hatch to creepy basement she never knew existed. On this Narnia vibe. <laughs> TikTok user at Unfortunate Existence filmed the moment she went down into the basement of her house after finding a hatch hidden under the carpet. And viewers advised her to move out. Okay. So, this woman now. Another TikTok. Yeah, it's like a little basement thing. But what's mad is, bro, like, how long has she lived there? Doesn't say. It says six years. Oh, six years. How has she never looked under the carpet? Does this woman not clean the yard? No, but the carpet... <laughs> but the, car- the carpet is like... Under the carpet is the is the basement N- that she discovered. Yeah, but... So look, woman pulls up carpet to find hidden okay. hatch, a creepy basement. Have she you never carpet existed. Have you got carpet at home? Yeah, and I clean it. Okay, you no, but I'm under saying, it. No, you know the ones that are stuck to the ground. No, but that's not what she has. I don't that's think she yeah, has. That it. is what she has. You can see it from the, in the picture. Oh. The one that's stuck to the ground. 
She wouldn't want the sock to she, the I ground. Know, I think I think she would wanted to change it. She wanted to change it. And then realise, you know what, man, got a basement here. And then she realised she got a basement here. Mm. No, I see what you're saying. Creepy basement as well. It looks like they could hide brothers there. Not saying that you should, because that's wrong. You don't <laughs> hide people. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Like, what she is she scared or something? Unless you got kids, and that's kids? sick though. Like, that's storage, extra storage. Yeah. What's that noise? <laughs> <laughs> My chest making noise. <laughs> you trying to scare me, bro? <laughs> with a scary article. I'm thinking, what's that? Do you ever do that? <laughs> you ever do that? Basement under here. Nah, apparently th- this one had the humming noise. What? They got in the sheath brothers <laughs> at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the studio? That's a bit mad. That's a bit crazy. It's hard luck. Woman, what would you do, bruv? You open, you open Bro, your... I'll make a PlayStation room or something. I don't know. Or a cinema or something. I don't Apparently know. there's blood there as well. No, nah, that's not blood. That can't be blood. Apparently it like blood. Bro, it, you know what? A lot of people do these sort of videos to kind of get attention. That's how you get clout. Mm, it worked out well for her though, Yeah, I mean, Allah blessed. She got her attention. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think TikTok is the way forward. Go I'll be real with you. <laughs> for what? I think that TikTok for is... For what? It just looks like you can uh, really get out there when it comes to TikTok. Oh, like you can like yeah. v- viral. Did you see Akhi Adventures? You no. must have seen it. No. What's it about? Um, how do I say it? It's a friend a, of that ours. sounds interesting. No, it's a friend of ours that started this page called yeah. Akhi Adventures. Yeah. And it's... Um, like holidays. Do you know the teachers on yeah. on Instagram? Yeah. Yeah, he started the Akhi Adventures. Oh, okay. And he basically does his thing now on TikTok where he goes to like places and um, just documents his... Uh, just him going on adventures. It's quite interesting. He's banging. Can't lie. He did this thing. I don't know if you saw it, yeah? But mm. I've never seen a human actually do this. Well, Aki Adventures. Aki Adventures, yeah. Is there a dot, full stop? No, it's A-K-H-I Adventures. Anyway, oh, the way... Yeah. It's not Instagram. It's not... It's only Instagram. It's only Instagram. Yeah, only Instagram. Not and TikTok. Not TikTok. And TikTok. I think. And TikTok. Why? You can go to TikTok on your laptop. No, I just Googled it. I thought it would come up. Oh, okay. There's a lot, though, that comes up. But basically, he, you know what he did? He did mm. a mad thing. He went, he was, he was swim, sw- swimming, swimming in like a lake, yeah? <laughs> yeah. My guy, <laughs> he's swimming in a lake. My guy picked up a fish like this, like normal. Picked up a fish. Yeah. And just like, and just ended his life like that. He just picked it up from the, from, I was like, what? I don't think that kills the fish. I think like they can survive without water for a bit. No, you can't. For a little bit. Yeah, but like, no, depending on the fish, isn't it? That's Why mad it? though. That's, that's he grabbed the fish from. That's the some old school fishing that's technique. That's mad. <laughs> <laughs> I swear that's crazy as uh, To be fair, I'm not, I'm not a fishing man. You're not a fisher. No. I find it like boring. Fishing. I find it boring. It's too yeah, long. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you get impatient. I think you have to be very patient and very. I have no sabr. Yeah, you need a little patience. Mm. Sabr. Mm. And into the next uh, uh, article. I see what he did there. <laughs> I see what he did there. Well, you're a funny person, you know. Mashallah, I love bless you. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I think your laugh's hurting some, someone's ears. I know, ears. I know, I know. The eardrums are going a bit mad. Subhanallah. Wait, before anything, I'll let, let me quickly um, look at what people have been saying. So, Amani Ali says that apparently, well, one brother said that you look Palestinian. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. take that. I'll take that. Apparently, you also look Afghan and Italian, Syrian. I'll take that. Afghan being another one. Afghan? Uh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take that. Singi Jorie. What? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I can speak some p- Pachtun. I don't know. You call it Pachtun, not Pachtun, Pachtun, same thing. You know you, I, f- I feel like you know a little bit of words from every language. Yeah, apart from Makala Punjabis, I don't know. What about Actually, you know, I, I'm gonna, Kassim, I, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give you a country yeah. and say whatever words you know. Uh, go on. Albania. Uh, Shipe. Uh, Egypt. I <laughs> um, Lebanon. Shlunek. Uh, Morocco. Khaydeli. <laughs> Algeria. <laughs> Where's <Where's Yako? laughs> uh, America. Oh, America. Oh my God. <laughs> Spanish. <laughs> Hola, buenos días, buenas tardes, buenas noches. Um, Filipino. Chill out. And it stops there. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, I think that after that one, that's it. <laughs> I, I have no Filipino in the in the locker. Um, but yeah, so I think this is the time. Takes us straight into the halftime team talk. And where I look at straight in the camera here. <sighs> Hello, everybody. 
Thank you for joining us here on Current Events. And it is the halftime team talk. You can see what's behind me. We have the purple flag. And what we would like is for everybody here to please join us in helping to really project the Fresh Ugandan team into the next level. Um, as I said before, do, do try and uh, help us out with a super chat on the bottom left-hand corner if you are on your laptop or on the bottom right-hand corner if you are using your phone on the app. I think that's how it is. Um, but yeah, we have a new super chat, like logo, not logo. We have a new super chat um, sound and it was sick. And last week, I don't know if you guys joined us last week, it was amazing. We had a few, uh, but many people actually, subhanAllah, support us. A lot of people actually said it's one of the best um, episodes that we, we've ever had, you know? The last week? Yeah. Yeah, that was a funny one still. So. Yeah, it was banter. Yeah, what was this one about? Allergies. Oh yeah, bear um, allergies. Weddings. Bear. The, the poem stuff. Oh, oh isn't, that, ama isn't that amazing that you brought us to that? Wow. Cheese and <laughs> mayo. <laughs> <laughs> poetry, mashallah. Man. I love this. How are you doing with that? The poetry? Yeah. You know what? I remembered. I just remembered that I promised a poem in it. Yeah. But I completely forgot to do it. No way. Yeah, I completely forgot to do it. Oh, that's fun. I think we need to give him a forfeit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to give him a full bit. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this to the to the comments to decide. Yeah, let them, let, in the comments, decide, I'll, decide. I want you guys to tell me. Give Not me a, mad, though. Satin, I don't know. Make him do push-ups or Satin. Give me give me a uh, a full fit to give him right now because he didn't do it. That's it. Yeah. And we'll see what they say. Um, but yeah, keep, you keep a lookout as well Yeah, on the comments for any uh, comment of the week. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm going up right now. now. Yeah. I can't lie. I like this uh, Lonnie Risha brother. Right now, at half time, I'm getting uh, like I'm, I'm liking him right now. Mm. Um, we got we got Lonnie, yeah, Lonnie Risha. Lonnie, I think it's like an Albanian name. Oh right? yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Okay, I think okay. Lonnie Risha is Albanian. Okay, okay. So okay. if he's heard me say uh, Shipe, then um, probably nice. understands what I'm saying. Nice. Huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 that's the one that looks like you. Oh yeah, that's your twinny. Wait, wait, let me see the picture. <laughs> let me see the picture. Let me see the picture again. Let me see the picture. Let me see. How do you do it? Nah, he phase. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> do me. He actually, <laughs> <laughs> he actually said, "Would you guys think about doing a current um, events episode with Faisal?" Uh, that would be hilarious. Yeah. Imagine him in the middle here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should do a live one one day. Yeah. We'll see you, inshallah. See that's Allah be hamdi. Add the khalq abu ibrahim nafsi hazina taash hamdi rikimit. Subhanallah, I'm just doing the air right now. Eat uh, mayo and cheese. Uh, <laughs> we have no mayo and cheese in the office, but maybe one day. Um, other people have said push-ups, plank, a freestyle being one of them. Ah, oh, yeah, I think that's the best out of all of them. I'm not really on it, man. Ah, uh, right. Lonnie, Lonnie, because because I like want Lonnie right now. He said do push-ups. I want you to do some push-ups. I'd rather freestyle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, I can't lie. Something like that. But it's up to you. Which one would you want to do? Freestyle or... Because you have to, man. Yeah, the brother's down, man. I feel like a lot. You've got 70 people that are really sad right now. Ooh. All right, cool. Let me do a freestyle. All about right. what? What did they say in the comments? Um, about the free, about the article we just talked about earlier. Yeah. Ooh, I don't know. Am I, am I really on it? Am I trying to talk about well vomit? Ooh. Okay. I think that's it. Because I ain't trying to do push-ups. Yeah, because if I do, I'll drop the cups. <laughs> I mean, that's 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 where it stops, though. <laughs> you, know, you know, cricket noises. We need cricket noises in the back. That was a bit challenging, still. Um. Yeah, I think I think I'm I'm more of a writer. I'm not a freestyle guy. Yeah. Oh, you're a writer. Yeah. So can can you? Can you? Can you can. <laughs> Can okay, you, okay, okay. can you, live or current events, look at the camera right now and tell us that next week you will provide us with a poem? Ooh, next week I will provide the poem about current events. Okay. And previous episodes. Bidnillah. Say bidnillah as well, bidnillah. Inshallah. Okay. Is that inshallah? Same meaning. Huh? Same meaning. Yeah. yeah. Sah, sah, sah. We've got a few clicks. The brothers will be clicking. Yeah, I think they agree with you there. Come on. Okay, I think you redeemed yourself. May Allah bless you.
Next article, please, Nadir, please write in me, write, write in me what is going on with my brain today. Read me. Uh, Shall I read you? Read for me. <laughs> Algiers. Al Mustakbel. I read for you. <laughs> what, uh, article. For me, the Taj has actually said she's waiting for the poem, but uh, for anybody that's just joined us right now, the poem will be next week, so do let Wait, hold on. We got a super chat. No, I flopped that one. I flopped that one. No, I you have to do it again. <laughs> Alright, go. I think we need, we need another noise again. We, need the we wasn't ready for that one. No, we need another noise again. Wait, hold on. We got a super chat. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, love bless you. Amen. Thank you so much for um, providing us with our first super chat of the stream of the live at current events. I mean. And he didn't leave us a message. If you'd like to keep us, leave, leave us a message, do let us know. Um, may Allah bless you. He's on the train. Huh? He's on the train in his picture. Yeah. What's that? What line? That is Poland? that could be. Like <laughs> 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 I can't see. see. I can't see. I, I, can you zoom him in? <laughs> I want to see with it. Hold on a second. That's Baker Louie, bro. Are you sure? Mm. How can you tell? Because it's like brown. Nah, man. You know what? You know what I think would be better? What? If the commenters gave me five words, and with those five words, I have to write a poem. Ah. You understand? Know like those five words I have to include in the poem. Okay. Okay. So, ask the, uh, so, so, so for the commenters, put, write down five words, not too random, and we'll pick, we'll pick the best five. Cool. And that has to be included in the poem. All right. That's all right. Get your phone out. And then I'll have it. I'll write it down. Cool. Yeah. One of them. You choose. Just because you, you know what? Words. You know what? Just because Eamon said it, Baker Lou. How about that? Eamon said Baker Lou, so I want. I, want I think he was answering what line. <laughs> yeah, I know. But just because he said Baker <laughs> okay, Lou, okay, okay. I want you to use Baker Lou. Baker Amani, Lou. Amani, um Solaj. Solja. No, Solja. Sorry. Says orange. So you have to try and say orange. Nah, no, cause all right, cool. Orange. Orange. Um, 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 I see purple there. No, I'm not gonna use that one. Mayo. Okay. Pro I'm gonna Mayo. give that to Amel Salawu. Mayo. Cool. A marriage. Wow. How was that? What's that for? Marriage. That's four. Four. Um, and Lonnie, because I like Lonnie right now. To my win. brother. Regurgitation. <laughs> try, <laughs> try to do that one. Regurgitation. Try to do that one. Doing it for the nation. Regurgitation. We're That's all it. we're all part of the same creation. I think we've right chosen right. our five. So what's the five? Um, all right, cool. I think there's more. You know what? Just do ten. Do ten. Okay. Yeah, do ten. Do ten. Um, Fuad. Wait, wait, wait. I, I, I put regulation. It was regurg. What was it? Regurgitation. Cool. Go ahead. Do you know how to spell it? Yeah. yeah. Lonnie shows us how to spell it. My guy, Lonnie. What's the next shout one? Out. Before the shout out. Um, Fuad has said gratitude. Mm -hmm. so how many? How many are you on now? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Okay. Hedge. Cool. Seven. Um. um, um cupcake. Raccoon. Raccoon. Cup. What? Cupcake or? Cup, which no, one? No, no. Cupcake. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> <so> <laughs> raccoon, raccoon. Cupcake. That's another one actually. Raccoon. Raccoon. I see you every week. May Allah bless you. Thanks mm. for joining us again. Um. What are you on? Eight. Triangle from Min Hasa. Triangle. Um, 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 um. Is that is that the word? No. <laughs> and for me, the Taj said purple, so we keep it as purple. And that's it. That's ten words for you to rhyme for next weekend. Next Ooh. weekend. We next week. Next week. Let's go. People just putting better names now. Sky, Spork, Blessed, Red Bull, Fanta. <laughs> yeah, bear. <laughs> okay, we got it. We got What's it. Spork? Spork. Yeah. Oh, it's like a spoon fork. Have you ever seen them? Like they come in like the meal deals. Huh? It's, like it's shaped with a spoon, but you've got the little fork things at the end. That's a spork. Mm. That went over my head. But why did he say it? I think there's what he, I think, is it he? I think we should we should have kept it kind of relative to freshly grounded, but yeah. don't worry. I'll figure it out. Go on, give me the next article, please. Okay, this is a um, COVID article from mm -hmm. Sky News. Okay. Um, so I don't know if you've been keeping up with this one, but it's about the Brazil variant. Okay. Um, I think it's called P1. 
Yeah. So yeah, so COVID-19 hunt for mystery person infected with Brazil variant narrows to 379 households. This is probably the main article for today. Okay. So um, Health Secretary Matt Hancock tells MPs that officials have now identified the batch of home test kits in question. We've been giving up, giving up with this one. Yeah. Okay, well. good. So you can talk about this one. So the hunt for an unidentified person who tested positive for the Brazil variant of, of coronavirus has narrowed to 379 households in southeast England. Um, in total, six cases of the P1 coronavirus variant first found in Brazil have been discovered in the UK. It's because they don't know, yeah. It's so, it's so dangerous because they don't know whether this one uh, um, can be attacked by the vaccine or not. Mm. We still don't know. Speaking about vaccine, we have someone in the room right now that's actually taking the vaccine. Mm. Yeah, it's not me. Not you. Okay. No, he's taking the vaccine. And he's nodding. Which means that, from what I was actually having a conversation with Faisal before, I was telling me that he felt a bit... Um, Cold. Under the weather. Just a headache. Just a headache. Yeah, yeah, that's mine, not mine, that's symptoms though. Yeah, a little headache from uh, the vaccine. Would you take it, Nadir? I think I have to eventually. Are you sure you would take it? Yeah. What about you? Are you one of them conspiracy? My dad took it on Tuesday. He was alright for it. Mm. He wasn't under the weather. <laughs> he was, <laughs> he was, was alright. I don't know why. My dad just built differently. May Allah bless him, I mean. It's the Algerian food, isn't it? This guy stands up and... Yeah, it makes no sense. I wake up in the morning. Yeah, I, mean, I wake up in the morning, I'm seeing this guy here. He just finds different things to like DIY in the house. The the the, the, we ha- the, the way my um, living room's uh, set up here, yeah. he's now changed the colour of the door either side. So if you walk... If you open the door on one side, it's brown. Yeah. On the other side, it's blue. Okay. Double-sided. <laughs> Double-sided thing. Brown, blue. Why? Because he's, he's basically... In Kalu and Victoria Land exchange and that. Yeah, no. Okay, also circus. Yeah. Yeah. N- yeah. yeah. Uh, Something like that. <laughs> Something like that. No, but I'm so confused. Basically, the, 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 setup, the setup of the living room is blue. Mm. And because like the, the corridor part is brown, he's done it that way. It's quite interesting. Okay. But yeah, shout out to my dad, if he's watching. So that's where you get your creative side from, yeah? Mm. Okay. I hear that. And my dad's a creative. And my brother and my sister. Yeah, your brother, mashallah, very talented artist. Yeah. Yeah. I see you painted a bridge. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a university challenge. Can you get that up? I have no picture. You're a bad brother. Sorry. No, I'm joking. Actually, I think I'll put it in my story. Yeah. That's I enough. Think, that's think enough. Think uh, exposure for him. Exposure for him. Yeah. Same, Allah bless him. This is actually his hoodie, you know? Yeah. Yeah. He makes these hoodies. So that's he designed what? that as well? Yeah, he designed these hoodies with the bubble writing. Mm, I, li- I like the bubble writing font. Wavy, innit? Hence yeah. why. Hence bubble why. Gum. Um, that's why I was like to him. Uh, I, I like wearing my brother's stuff. Anyway, that's enough. Enough well plug. Enough plug. <laughs> anyway, move <laughs> on. What did you say? We were talking about the the variant. Yeah. In Brazil. Yeah. So they've just narrowed. It. Basically, it's just it's just saying that. Um, yeah, I can speak some Brazilian as well, by the way. Yeah, go on. Let me think about the words that I can. I'm allowed to say. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wait, hold on a second. Uh, Rio de Janeiro. Wait, hold on. The, what? The, no, that's the place. Yeah. Wait. Um. I just clocked, no, I cannot say <laughs> the word. <laughs> I just clocked that, yeah. Um, wait, hold on. They're po- they speak Portuguese. How about French? No, they're como estas. Okay. Como estas is like, is okay. like um, yeah, yeah. Brazilian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that they say that. And then um, frigidera. Frigidera meaning... Uh, fridge. I think that, yeah, that's how they say fridge. Uh-huh. There's another one as well. Um, que pasa? Que pasa is how are you? No, but I don't think that's, that's uh, that Portuguese. Spanish? No. That's not a language, man. I can't lie. You said French. French is easy. We'll move with that. French, go on. Yeah. Go on, French. Bonjour, monsieur. Ça va? Ça va bien? De rien? Oui, monsieur. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Um, uh, you have... Bengali. Well, like, bro, I'm not that good. Balani? Huh? Balani? Uh, yes. Jiri? Jiri? Oi. Jiwei? Jiwei. Huh? Oi? Yeah, like, yes. Oi is yes. Oh, say what? Like, G is like, it's like a respectful way of... Addressing someone. Like yeah. Something like that. Something like, you like that. G still. Say nine. <laughs> <laughs> Go, we got a... Um, okay. Okay. Sorry Ooh, if I look... Yeah, this is what? an article that I found earlier as well. Have you ever read like a Dr. Seuss book? Dr. Dr. Seuss. Seuss. Yeah. It's Zeus, isn't it? Yeah. It's the guy that you find in like books. 
What do you mean? No, he's the author. Oh, that's where's Wally. Why do I keep mixing <laughs> them up? I mix these. <laughs> nah, this this this, this this one he done like ch- he does children books. Yeah. Uh, you've definitely like seen some of his books. Okay. They're famous, like yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Grinch the one. The guy with the top hat. A uh, cat in the hat. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. one. Yeah. Um. Yeah, like anything that looks kind of like that. That's him. Okay. But yeah, look. These, these, obviously, these, some of his books. Um. Have caused some controversial issues. So six books that he's written have been withdrawn over hurtful and wrong imagery. Mm-hmm. So six Dr. Seuss books will no longer be published because of racial insensitive imagery. The company that preserves the author's legacy has said um, among the six children's titles being withdrawn are If I Ran the Zoo, Scrambled Eggs Super, um, Mick Ellie Gott's Pool and On Beyond Zebra. He always has these weird names, like these weird titles, mm. like Cat in the Hat. Yeah. So yeah, these books portray people in, in, in ways that are hurtful and wrong. And this is interesting. Look, so it, it said the decision was made after consulting experts and teachers. And they said, season the sales of these books is only part of our commitment and our broader plan to ensure that Dr. Seuss Enterprises catalogue represents and supports all communities and families. Wow. Mm. It doesn't say what, what, what the... Like the image, you don't show the imagery. Yeah, it doesn't show the imagery. It's better. It's better, <laughs> it's better if we don't know, mate. Yeah. But um, wow, that's a bit crazy. You know he's not alive anymore. Who the author? Mm. His name is Theodore Seuss. Oh. Okay. It's a bit crazy, Palmer. Kind of. Yeah, that's mad. Obviously, we 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 spoken about like if you had kids and stuff like what 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 would you kind of leave them exposed um, to. Yeah, yeah, like censorship and stuff. You know what? I think we're talking. I we're think there's a lot. There's a lot of other things other than books. Like, yeah, I think a lot of things in movies and stuff. If they if they had the same kind of attitude towards that, but we like TikTok is a lot worse than. Yeah. Well, I don't know when it. I don't. I don't know exactly what the. The imagery was, but yeah, there's a lot of things like. If, are we thinking about kids series. too early? What do you mean? Are we thinking about kids too early? We don't have. No, nah. it's all right. You can, t- you can talk about kids when you're a kid. That's true. I am a kid. Yeah. yeah. Same. Still going through it. I know. But I do miss my childhood. Playing with Blade Blades. Oh, yeah. And, and Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Nah. And Pokemon. Are you a Yu-Gi-Oh guy? Yeah, not Pokemon. Let me see. Do you leave phone? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I miss my childhood. Okay. There's another article. <laughs> we <laughs> have one, another one. This one's a bit weird. Wait, for me, the Tardis said, I miss Where's Wally. He used to do that in primary all the time. Who? Let me find Wally. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> we should make like a Muslim version of it. Where's Wally? <laughs> <laughs> Can't be Wally. <laughs> all right, cool. This is, this is a weird Oh, article. M89 said, match attacks were elite. Yeah. Yeah. I used I, to I, I love the match attacks. That's basically like... Old school ultimate team FIFA. That's true, yeah. It's fun yeah, though. but without actually playing. <laughs> I, I you should always, get into that. <laughs> I most had always said, bro, Zach looks like he's about to cry. Why? <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know, like I'm about to. Maybe like laugh wise, isn't it? He's just laughing. Bear. Can't lie, he's been laughing bear. Anyways, listen, listen to this one. You're funny. Still, listen <laughs> to this one. Metro. Yeah. This is from um. This article is coming from the Metro. Police sees 80 alligator heads from a house in Birmingham. Do you have the picture up? Have you got a picture up? What do you mean, 80 alligator heads? Do mm, you know what alligator is? Well, crocodile? Yeah, crocodile. Yeah. They the found heads 80 th- heads. You Where? Know, you, know, you know, have you ever seen like a deer? Like, if you go to like these old school, like if nah, in Iceland. Nah, deer. Nah, deer. I get that. But have you ever seen that? Uh, being hung on the wall and uh, that? Nah, I beg you, just please laugh at my joke. Still a bit ha ha ha. Do one about alligators. See you later. <laughs> Alligator. All right. Yeah, I hear that. I hear yeah, that. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You recovered it. Go you on, recovered man. it. You're not just the lyricist here. It's me as well, bro. I hear that. I hear that. But what are you saying? So you, they, these might find... So th- basically, there's this guy who was selling alligator heads. And police seized about 80. So he's probably had more, and he? He's probably been doing this for loads, yeah. loads of time. And he, and he sells them online. And he got, he got caught so selling them on So he chops off heads? He chops off heads? No, no, no. Basically, the, he, he probably gets them imported. Yeah. Illegally. 
Mm. You're not actually, you're not allowed to do that. Yeah. I think, you, where did they get them from? Florida? Let me check. So he gets the heads and, and, just, and shots then? Yeah. Uh, I think it's from Florida. Because they, they, they actually farm um, alligators in Florida. Basically, like the same. You see how in the UK they farm cows? Yeah. It's like that. that. Yeah. They, they Apparently, the meat alligators. is really tasty, you know? Yeah. Actually, wait. You know, it's not like they speaking. sell like tourists. Like tourists go over there and they, they eat the meat. Is that really speaking? Leather. Are you allowed to eat crocodile? I don't know. Yeah, I think you're, we're not allowed to eat um, anything that eats another animal, from what I know. Can someone confirm or let me know? I think from what I know, we're not allowed to eat any animals that eat another animal. Mm, give me an example Carnivals. of one that does that. For example, a leopard or a lion, you're not allowed to eat, them, mm. eat their meat. But if crocodiles, yeah, they do eat. I think, b- yeah, they do eat other animals or other meat. Bro, do you know what I've seen? Yeah. I f- I f- it doesn't, yeah, that's mad. I've yeah. seen that. I've so seen Ameni, that. Ameni just said it to me. I'm going to take her words for gold dust and she's just said that it's haram to eat it. Mm, yeah. I've seen, I've seen a chicken eat some chicken. Huh? Yeah. How? In Morocco. Someone was feeding the chicken, chi- like cooked chicken meat. Oh. Uh. It's a bit weird, isn't it? That's where they're, they're, they're herbivores. Meaning yeah. they... It was a bit mad, I can't lie. This is what I'm saying. This, you know this human world thing is nuts. Like, we're just trying to change everything. Mm-hmm. Everything that, 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 that God's Allah's made normal, we make it no, not normal. Try to make it like remix thing. Mm, look at this so basically according to the law every part of a killed farmed alligator needs to be used the meat gets eaten especially by curious tourists um users for the leather are plentiful and the claws and heads are great souvenirs mm-hmm. so, like tourist shops and stuff like th- there's a law that says you have to use you can't f- waste any a- any part of the alligator it's mad yeah and this guy's selling them on ebay People yeah. sell some weird stuff on eBay, innit? Yeah. What's the weirdest thing you bought from eBay? I've never bought anything from eBay. That's another thing. Oh, we could add that to yeah, this yeah. as well. I've never bought Why anything not? from eBay. I don't know. You don't trust it? Yeah, I've, I've bought from Amazon, but not eBay. I just don't trust it. You've never bidded on anything? Never. Wow. The bargain's there, bro. Yeah, I know you've probably got some football shirts yeah. there. Yeah. That and Depop. Depop, I've sold some stuff on there, but I've never... You never bought anything from eBay? No, never. Wow. That's interesting. Um, I can't lie. Lonnie Risha has been s- saying this for quite some time. I haven't le- replied or looked at it. Um, Are you I'll airing it? Are you airing? Sorry, my brother Lonnie. You're my guy. Don't worry. <laughs> that, I think that rhymes as well. Um, but he says, Zach, can you say you're watching current events in Albanian? I don't know whether this is actually the words, but... <laughs> so I, so I don't want to risk it. Should put it in Google Translate? <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know whether these are the actual words, my brother. So I can't say it right now. However, I appreciate you, my brother. So if, if there are any Albanians that see this... You think this he's buzzing? If you're buzzing on me, I don't want to cry. Okay. Um, Raccoon Raccoon says, did you know that the French eat frogs? I have never eaten a frog. No, nah, I can't lie. It actually does mean what you said. Say hola. Mm, you are viewing the current event. All right, cool. Man's going to say that then. So, you, Jenny, Duke, Pare, Pare. Uh, this one's mad. Njajin. Actuali. Come on. Get me, my brother. Come on, man. They call me Albanian. And I think these might do this thing, innit? Yeah, it's that. For the flag? Yeah, so okay. what they do, yeah. I've right? seen footballers do that for celebrations. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Xhaka did it against um, Serbia. Oh, mad. In the too. World Cup. I think it was the World Cup. Or no, it was... Um, yeah, yeah, I remember qualifier. that. I remember that. They did this. Basically, they've got the... But he was playing for Switzerland, right? Yeah. He was the World Cup. Mm. So they had the... Um, they do this, yeah. It's the in the middle of their flag. They've got like an eagle. That's why they do this. But yeah, Lonnie, <laughs> Lonnie goes translate for evidence. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Don't worry, translate. We got it, blah blah blah. Um, Fatima Gawad says, for example, they flip the rainbow. What? Oh yeah. They, oh, okay, I think I understand what you're saying there. Wow. CFC says, I'm always learning something interesting from the show. May Allah bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for saying that to us. We really do gain pride in um, us teaching you guys relevant things. And Faisal is nodding his head. Um, yes. Yes. <laughs> um, can I speak Turkish? I can speak some Turkish. I actually can speak some Turkish. So, are you ready for this one, yeah? Nesasim. Ben sen çok seviyorum. 
Uh, you know what that means? No. I love you for the sake of Allah. I mean. Yeah. May uh, the one who you love me for love you. I mean. Man. Can you like, do it like a smile sometimes? <laughs> 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 so I feel like. You get me? Um, yeah. What other words? In Turkish? Yeah, I, I think I can say some other words. I can say. So, Nessa Sem is hello. Teşekkür ederim means thank you. You've been watching. Um, Nah, Turkish dramas and stuff. Nah, it's, it? when I, it's when I went to Turkey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, nah, it's, it's a lot easier to like, learn words when you're, when, you're, when you're in the country. Yeah, yeah. All right, give me an Italian word. Bellissimo. What's that? It means amazing. Okay. I've seen some restaurants being, being called that, actually. Yeah, but yeah. It's th- they have the best cuisine in the world, in my opinion. Nah. Chilla. Nah. No it's chilla. It's okay. It's all right. There's no chili at all. Okay. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> <laughs> right, someone's asked uh, Lonnie. Lonnie's uh, asked lover question. He says, "Is your MacBook sixteen inch?" Thirteen point five. Hmm. We got the same one, innit? Yeah. Subhanallah. You know he's copying me. Keep that. Well, this one. Hmm. Mm, get me. Ortugol. Erturu. It's Erturu vibes. Ertu- get me. Erturu. Uh, but what's everybody? I want to know, yeah. What's everybody's um, favorite cuisine, bro? I've got two. I've got two. I, I don't believe f- someone should have a favorite cuisine. Oh, yeah. why? I don't know. It's just there's so many. I think. I think if you're but a foodie, if you could choose you, you one, to, nah, nah. That's what I'm saying. If you're a foodie, you can't choose one. You got to... Yeah, there's a top three. I top do. Three. Like Premier League, do me top four. Top four. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'd say like Sham region. Okay, so Syria, Iraq. That type of food. Okay. So about meat. A lot of meat. They they just like the whole fight. They like the whole uh, grilled stuff. They do the grilled stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. Yeah. I would say Japanese is nice, but... So sushi. Yeah, but... J- That's what RB said. RB, hello again. RB, we've RB's missed you. Back. Thanks for joining us. Someone's saying Somali. You know what? Somali is nice, bro. I, I was going to say that, but... Somali is nice. You're, so your top Afghan, four Afghan Afghan food is nice. So wait, where's your top four? Moroccan food is nice. Uh, Just give me bear. I need top four. Top four. Yeah. Boy. Okay. What first, second, third, fourth? Yeah. Okay. Number one. Caribbean. Nah, 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 nah. Number one. That makes your stomach hurt. <laughs> what Caribbean? Yeah. Spicy. Even though it's nice, but it makes your stomach hurt a bit. Jerk chicken and that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, the Boy, Amal, you know what? Amal has helped us, and she said four. She's given us four. So number one, Afghan. Number two, Thai. I've had Thai before. Syrian and Nigerian. Nigerian, my Nigerian brothers. Jollof. Yeah. yeah, never had jollof before. You've never had I've jollof. I've had pounded yam before. Jollof, pounded yam. Yeah. Come on, man. I've had, I've had. I think most of the Nigerian cuisines. Stew. All of that. Huh? All of that. Yeah, all of it. Yeah, no, I haven't. There's not that much. They, 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 they. It's a, re- a lot of repeated dishes, still. Mm. From what I know, and I haven't really tried anything much, much else. Uh, but Afghan, I'll do Afghan. I'll do it- Italian. I'll do Turkish. I'm gonna put a little, little Moroccan just there, innit? Afghan, Italian, Turkish, and Moroccan. I'll give, I'll give Morocco fourth. So you give because you want to, okay? Yeah, right. just Champions League spot, innit? Say nine. Uh, for me, I would say Somali, Afghan. Italian. Uh, you know why? Because Afghan, I'm sorry. Eddie. You're thinking, of, you're, f- you're forgetting American as well. Is all right, burgers. Oh, like the that, those Krabby Patty. Oh my god. Like those sort of things. SpongeBob Black Brothers. Yeah, that's the sort of thing you order, though, isn't it? Yeah, no, I don't really. It's, it's not a burger not, guy. It, it's nothing like you know what I'm talking about. Food where it's like it's not comfort food. Like where Malaysian. Like, oh Malaysian my. And Thai, Malaysian sleep banging. On these two. I'm telling you. Malaysian and Thai They like sleep what? They sleep they on sleep it? Not really Not <laughs> literally But they, 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 they <laughs> <laughs> But they Put some uh, f- Egg fried rice on your pillow and that. S- <laughs> Honestly it's banging well, No nah, Malaysian food's nice though. Yeah Malaysian food's very nice M- Malaysian and you uh, Thai is banging You know what's mad Like like uh, there's, there's, there's some markets that I live like, where, where I live There's some markets that are open It's mm. always active Even though it's COVID So you stuff, can try like always The whole world Yeah no They have every cuisine They have every cuisine They got Um Filipino, um, Venezuelan, um, Japanese. Fun fact: Venezuela American, is the richest country with regards to um, natural resources. 
So oil. Yeah. You know, you know, you know. German Donna. Kebab. Kebab. <laughs> yeah. GDK. Literally. Swedish food is actually good as well. No, nah, we had, had it. Do you remember? No. Nah. Do you not remember when we went to Sweden? What we had? What? We had Turkish food there. Oh yeah, we had Turkish yeah, food. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. <laughs> I said Swedish food. But you're thinking, you're forgetting. Like, I gave you my top four. You're anyway. forgetting like Asian food as well, bro. Like what? Yeah. That's what I said. So, our uh, our biryani, like in terms of rice, undefeated, either Somali or Afghan. Mm. Makesh, there's no, there's no, there's no third, there's no fourth. Um, then I have Algerian in third because obviously, we do the best couscous in North Africa. Whether you want to argue about this or not, um, I'm going to win because I believe that. Um, number four. What Murgaz in that? No, uh, couscous. Merguez, we don't have merguez with couscous, bro. We don't, we don't yeah, have pork. sausage with couscous. We have, we have. You have peas. Yeah, or you do the Rice other thing. Rice and peas. Yeah, or you do the other thing. It's all right. I'll give it's you like that. couscous and uh, and sugar and milk. Yeah, it's wow. It's wow. It gives me tingles down my spine every time I even think about it. Yes, it's good that you have passion for your country. Man. I know, man. You're trying to fight it, man. I'm trying to say it like. Huh? No, I'm just saying. I, I don't know. I don't even want to get into that conversation. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, number four. <laughs> number four. We have. Yeah, so you said Italian. Oh yeah, Italian. You want to include yeah, that? No, nah, Italian. Oh yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah, I don't have to think about five. But yeah. Mm. What's the best spot in London in terms oh, of the food that you've had? What are we talking about? Oh, food. And I want everybody else to, to have I a like, conversation with like food, well. food, isn't it? What's I the like best, food. what's the, sorry, what's the best food that you've had in your city, whether you're in London or wherever? I want to know where. So if I go to that country, where do I go? Where do I get the food from? Burger go Box. On. Oh, really? Yeah, Burger Box. <laughs> burger Box. That's <laughs> my brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Burger Box. What That's did they do? The best burgers. American style. Yeah, I like I like market food though. I was gonna say I like market food. Like Port Portobello Market is nice. Oh, have you market. been? Huh? Ma- Portobello Market. Have you been? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's very cultured. Like, Actually, they got, th- got all all types of different foods. Well, for me, the touch is nice, cheap and cheerful as well. No, not, like compared to restaurant food. Mm, nice though. And they have everything. They have got pasta, bro. Like they make the pasta in front of you. Like it's dough, and they kind of like shred shred it into pasta. Oh, swear. Yeah, bro. And they have got like a bowl of cheese, and they put some mayo in it. It's probably like hipster down there, isn't it? Yeah, probably yeah. hipster. Like probably. the brothers that like roll up their trousers and... There's and like and a skate park. There's a skate park, yeah. like literally around the corner of it. And then there's El Manar Masjid. MashaAllah. Like the Grove Mosque. Dean and Dunya. What's Dean and Dunya? So you, you go through a skate park and then go to the Masjid. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I hear that. No, it's nice though. I like that, you know. I like that little vibe. That West London Saffron vibe. Saffron Kitchen. That's what I was literally going to say. Your, what's your memories of Saffron Kitchen? Um, very nice memories. Mufti um, Menk event. Is it there? Yeah. That's Saffron Kitchen. God, that's spicy though, man. That's, let me tell you a lot of story. There was, we went to a Mufti Menk event as volunteers for yeah. Little Hearts. Charity, yeah. Yeah. And then, and then we, we fell in love with the charity that Zach was like, you know what? <laughs> no. Now, <I> remember <laughs> <we> did, <laughs> No, I know. I remember exactly what you were going to say. You know what this guy did? <laughs> well, no, you know this, I got tell, tell me the story that you want to tell them and I'll tell right. what actually happened. So, obviously, the fundraiser, Yusuf, um, Moroccan Yusuf, um, very good fundraiser, mashallah. Amazing, it's amazing. He was on Fresh Ground with the Teskia. Yeah, yeah so, so most of them will, will know of Yusuf. And he, he was talking about Little Hearts, the charity, and they were struggling to get um, they were struggling to get people to pledge. Yeah. Remember? So, he was up there, like, obviously just saying spitting mad facts mashallah yeah and people was kind of was a bit dry people weren't trying to mm-hmm. put their hands up to pledge and yeah. you, you decided to pledge oh really yeah. how much did I pledge <laughs> like 7k oh really <laughs> seven and a half. Oh really the seven and a half yeah let me tell you exactly Masha what happened Allah. let me tell you exactly what happened so what happened was yeah the dear had those all planned in his head nah so, <laughs> so, chill out this all planned in his head so what he was gonna say yeah was it was like he had the idea already Allah so it was like Let's let us let us go. We're, we're gonna go to that event um, to just support the the charity and whatnot. Then he was like, um, just pledge it there so that we, we can fundraise it as like university society, isn't it? Mm. Cool. Now I'm thinking he's gonna do it. We're sitting down. Mufti Max talking, and then I think he pats me on my shoulder. He goes, Yeah, yeah bro, put your hand up. The brothers, the brothers are just talking about um, this that that this charity, the, the numbers and stuff like that. I put my hand up. 
think they say 10k or something like that. I put my hand up and I just see myself like I have to go sign the form and that saying that I have to pledge seven and a half or 10k. You know, I've got yeah. a video on Snapchat yeah, yeah, of, yeah. Me, of, of me talking to you about it. Yeah. So that's the evidence. And how much did you raise? I didn't raise. Well, as in like, we were from that like, pledge? Alhamdulillah, it was about 65 and a bit. 65,349 pounds. What the pence? I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> it's like, uh, all I remember is 65 pounds. It's crazy. Like, w- our target was what? 7.5. And when we got that, it was 15. Yeah. And then, alhamdulillah, we no, just... No, 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 65. Do you know what that teaches us? Tawakkul. Has a tawakkul on Allah. Yeah, tawakkul. We'll, we'll obviously translate that. Reliance. Reliance upon yeah. Allah. Azza wa I find that crazy. You know what? Do you ever do this, yeah? This is actually going to be a deep conversation. Do you ever do this, yeah, where it's like you think about the past and you think the blessings that came from having, like, pure intentions? Yeah, definitely. Genuinely, especially back then. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Definitely. Mad intentions yeah. back then. One, bro. one, one brother, he does poetry. Hmm. Forgot his name, innit? But he's very good at poetry. I think he was on the podcast as well. Yeah. You know, the uh, revert brother. He was at the Little Hearts. Um, sorry, no. Nah, he was at the award ceremony for Munsera. A very small uh, upstairs. I know you're talking about the, They gave us the awards. Okay. Go on. Yeah, he told me something about charity. He said that when you when you do things for the sake of Allah, that you raise money for charity for the sake of Allah, Allah blesses you with something like in the dunya. Obviously, mm-hmm. you get the reward for, yeah. f- for, for doing the good deeds, but also you're blessed with something in the dunya. So some some sort of things that's at, not attached to the akhirah, it's some, it's a blessing that will come to you in the dunya. And I was mm-hmm. like, rah, that's like, like all the stuff that I've done with the charity stuff, it's always brought something good back to me, dunya wise. Mm-hmm. Crazy, isn't it? Yeah, whether that opens up an opportunity, that's that that's good for you. Um, whether that introduces you to someone that you can potentially get married to, whether that's there's a lot of <laughs> things, bro. You know what I'm saying? Why are you laughing? <laughs> So good. So good, Karen. But but don't, don't you agree? No, no, you're right. Like like even right. even that, we was at university. Like oh, you're still at uni, but I was yeah. at uni when we were doing all that stuff. And I remembered like I, I was struggling with my studies. And subhanallah, when it came to the exams, I just done well, even though I expected to to, yeah. to not do as as well. But I really truly no, believe. Well, so well like, I believe that 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 the reason for that was because of the goodness that we done during our, our time at uni because. A lot of time that we could have been studying, we're kind of like, you know, distracted by devoting our time to to try and do some charity yeah. stuff. That's like that, that that that, that kind of transitioned itself into like working. I had so much purpose positive. in my life. So much purpose in my life back then. We saying you got no purpose. Come on, man. Tilt shifts. I think you said that in your in your poem last. What's week? your purpose? Yeah, <laughs> something like that. Nah, I, I remember the per- like you'd wake up in the morning and you know what you're doing. I keep doing this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it kind of so squeaky noise. still. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry about that. I don't. I don't. I don't want to scare you, bro. Are you scared of anything? No, no, no. So oh, it's a ride, didn't it? Remember? Oh yeah. That's look. Someone said it. Jabril Hanzo. That's his name. Is it him? Yeah. <gasps> oh yeah. Remember he was there. And yeah. I was having a conversation with him, and he yeah. told, just told me that. But I've never heard. That. I remember it because I've never heard of it. I've never heard that before. Oh yeah. But it's so true, bro. Like people who have done. Like charity or giving charity or raise money for charity, they always kind of like realize that uh, something in the dunya comes to them Mm. that you want as well. Yeah, subhanallah. Like, have you ever wanted something and subhanallah just comes to you? In the middle, I've been here. That's that's actions are judged upon intentions, no? And subhanallah, when your intentions are pure, you see what happens after. That's my subhanallah, alhamdulillah. Yeah. But do you remember how difficult it was to keep your intentions pure? Oh my god! Like, remember how we, what was we saying? When we was in Egypt. It was like, bro, every morning it was like, what's your intentions? Like, like especially when you're filming, yeah. bro. Like when you're filming, it's even harder because it's like, okay, cool. Like, I I have passion for this charity, but I got to show that I have passion for it. Yeah. You get. It? And you have to be conscious and of where. Also, bro, yeah. what what happened during doing that? How many compliments were you receiving? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And those compliments sometimes, you know, can affect your 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 intentions. And the best very way to, easily. Uh, the best way to do that is downplay yourself. No, oh, well, I didn't do anything. Yeah, no, it's not you, from that, me. that's that's do that's. You know what I'm best yeah, way to do it: downplay like, yourself. Yeah, and also re- remember, like, 
this would have never happened without Allah willing it for. I'm blessing it, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And also knowing that you're, you're only in this opportunity because Allah chose you to be. It, it could have been anyone Sorry. else. It could have been anyone else. You know, I, I, I find it crazy when people say that, subhanAllah. What? About Allah's chosen. For example, even you go to the masjid. Allah mm. chose you to go to the masjid. Yeah. Or, or like sitting in a gathering where, where Allah's name's being we've got, mentioned. We've got comments as well, look. What are you saying? Um, so, Real Video said, those who chase the world, it runs from them. Those who chase the hereafter, the world comes under their feet. A good quote. And, and Pinak UK, when oh the charities man. want to take photos of you volunteering and you have to keep your intentions in mind, it's, it's hard. hard. Yeah. Yeah, literally. Remember, general, yeah. But remember, you remember how like, because like, it's very easy where your intentions can be flipped. So very easy. That's, that's a very so difficult difficult task and then sometimes you know some people can't hack it and sometimes they take themselves away from the equation for a bit yeah, yeah, yeah. reevaluate why they're doing it and then they, they come back do you know another one yeah mm. and i haven't spoken about it on here but i feel like it's it's it's, it's a big thing yeah mm. Ain. Mm. and hasad so yeah. envy and and, and and evil eye yeah it's a big 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 thing yeah it's and real it's real and and there's things you can do to protect yourself from it though 100% hence why I said and I was actually ha having this conversation with somebody of knowledge yeah and th they were saying this to me they were like if, if you put yourself out there it becomes basically mandatory upon you to protect yourself through your car whatever you do it takes 5 minutes whatever you do 5 minutes in the morning 5 minutes in the evening whatever you do try to protect yourself you know what that's actually a very good point you know you know, during this time in Ramadan a lot yeah. of people might struggle because it's not the same as how it was before yeah. lockdown and whatnot. And I think the best thing, the best sort of advice I can give to people is um, try to think of something that you can do. That's very small, but you can do it consistently. Yeah. Why? Because Allah, Allah loves the... the... The small, consistent deeds are more beloved to Allah than um, uh, like a, 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 a very big deed that yeah. you only do one time. So. Yeah, so maybe think of something very small that you can, you know, consistently do throughout Ramadan. And if you do that, you know, they say it takes 21 days to kind of Form build a, a habit. habit. Yeah, yeah. So you have 30 days, roughly, to, to, to do that. And inshallah, like, after Ramadan, they keep that habit with them. So I think one good one, good one is what you just mentioned, is the the, the adkar, morning yeah, yeah. and evening. Yeah, yeah. Very quick to do, two minutes each. Yeah. Very quick. If you do it every single day so for Ramadan, I think you can you can do it for the rest of your life. You know, I find it really hard to form a habit. Rather than, you know, going hard one day. Like, okay, yeah. nah, last 10 days I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in. I'm going to do um, Qiyam all night. And when it gets to it, you, you should be lazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you have too much iftar. You yeah. know, you're bloated. And you want to jump in pro clubs now. <laughs> you get me? But yeah, that's some advice. Subhanallah. Hopefully we can we can take, take that advice on board, inshallah. It's mad. It is mad. Another, you know, another thing I was think, just thinking about, you know, deployments. Yeah. That's very difficult to like, you know, you have to, like, I went, I went, I went with you yeah. to Egypt, but I also went by myself one time. Jordan, yeah. Jordan. Yeah. Not by myself, but yeah. I went with a different group. Yeah. And what I found very difficult and everyone else found difficult there yeah. is obviously you're, you're coming face to face with a lot of vulnerable people. You're coming face to face with children, um, women who are kind of escaping like a war-torn war country. And it's very difficult to kind of, you know, be empathetic with them, yeah. towards them, and also show people back home what is happening. Because, you know, when you're talking to someone while you're out there on a deployment, it's very, very rude to kind of bring out your phone and explain, okay, guys, I'm with this family right now, um, and this is the situation. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, your, your viewers... Will will be watching that and, and and praising you, yeah. And that's very difficult to keep your intentions pure. And and and, and because I found that so difficult, I didn't do it. So even though the families were okay with it, like the families, they wanted people to hear their stories. They didn't mind being on camera. Yeah. Well, some some didn't want to be on camera, obviously for for personal personal reasons. But most of them they didn't mind being on camera and you bringing out your camera and, yeah. and speaking. But I found it I found it very difficult to do it. Yeah. I, f I felt like at that time, in, in that moment, I felt like it was just better to just speak to them and just give me, show them that I cared by being there and speaking to them rather than bringing out a camera and putting that online and stuff. So, main also, thing. But also, you have to do that as well to, to 
um, like you said, uh, what's the word? Intentions. No, as in like, kind of show people. Show people what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm lost for words. What's the word? To me. Promote. 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 Yeah, like you have to show people. Yeah. You have to. You have to be the wow. news. Inspire for change. No, I just lost the word. They'll come back to me. They'll come back to me. You know what you say when you, when you when educate you them. You know what you say when you forget something. Mm. Apparently, this is a thing. Yeah. You, you, you send salutations upon uh, the yeah, public. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. I'm in ten lessons. I say that in exams. <laughs> and they just come out like, oh, bro. wait, hold on. I used it in hold exams. on. Did you watch a video about that and it, and it said that? Do you remember that brother? Sheikh Hassan Ali. Hassan Ali, yeah. Oh my yeah. days. You, you know, know what? Yeah, no, no, bro. People, if you're a student, yeah, watch and that you're video. For the, those watch exams, that video. You have to search Sheikh Hassan Ali exams yeah. on YouTube. Banging. Two videos, one, one, one hour, one and a half, one of them. It's yeah. like a one fifty minute one. It's 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 very, it's tailored for people who are going through like GCSEs and A levels because it's it's it's, it's Kind of advice on studying for yeah. things that you don't really care about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like <laughs> studying for like history when you yeah, don't yeah. even want to get yeah. into it. Um, very good advice. It was amazing. I remember. It. I remember. Yeah, I, watched yeah. it. I, like I, I actually kept those um, tips until like university. University. Yeah. Same. Same. Yeah. Panel. I remember that. Yeah. So you send salutations to the prophet. So I send and them. And, 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 and you, you know remember. The he, you remember the, the equation. It's the way he describes it, bro. It's the way, like you know, them. Yeah, some you're people, a G for knowing that. He's though. banging, like, bro. Sick, like, but I remember. I remember. I used to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one. That's that's. On on repeat when I was going to like sixth form and stuff like that. that look, see, Penak UK. Can't lie. They, they've been doing this commenting thing proper. That's the uh, raise awareness. <laughs> That's I'm the word I couldn't find. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, you have to raise awareness. Are you gonna give it to Pinnock now? No, no, Pinnock's up there right yeah. now. Obviously, I ain't, I ain't decided. <laughs> I'm not. We'll, we'll talk about that in a bit. There's yeah, a few, there's a few. There's a just few. before you want your twin Lonnie. Yeah, my there's guy couple, Lonnie. But before we actually go anywhere, um, I feel like I need to talk to the camera again. Hi guys, how you doing? Hope you guys are doing alright. Um, so he's purple. What's behind me is purple. I can't even say it in the proper way. But the way in which I want things to happen right now is please, 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 if you could support us here at Freshly Grounded with a super chat on the bottom left-hand corner. So you see that little uh, dollar sign? You see the bottom left-hand corner? Click that if you're on your laptop. Or if you're on your phone, click the, I think it's top, the bottom right or top right, whatever it is. Um, and do support us with whatever it is. May Allah bless every single one of you guys. Um, obviously, what we want to do here at Freshly Grounded is be able to give a platform to people to leave their jobs where it's like they're in um, either it's haram a haram environment. environment or anything like that and try to bring them into like halal environments and be able to do things like this and even better than this, inshallah, um, and, and be able to properly run an organization to the best as possible and not just benefit us, but the generation that's coming next, which is, to be fair, in my opinion, one of the most important things. Um, lovely, lovely, lovely. lovely. I think people have just listened to me, have they? No, they haven't. Oh, okay, lovely, lovely, lovely. That's the old one. <laughs> oh yeah, that is old. That's the old school thing. That's the old super chat. Yeah. But the, the new, new one, one. I'm trying to hear the new up. one. Hold up. I'm trying to hear the new one. We'll hear it. Soon. Bidna Allah, bidna Allah. Someone, someone will help me out. Um. But yeah, it is. What, you what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I think we went through all the articles actually. <laughs> no, we haven't. There's there's a one one or two more. I think we do okay, one, one or two read more. Read it. Before we give uh commentary of the week. Mm. Go on, read that for me, my brother. The article. So Zainab Khamis quickly, she said, When you do charity with your right hand, your left hand should know it's true. Yeah, that's actually from But then again, this is what I'm saying. It's it's difficult because if What do you mean it's difficult? That's this it's like a saying, isn't it? It's not it's not li- you don't take it literally. It's it's kind of saying like don't don't tell people, don't put it out. But there. what if? But, but that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. when you're out, when you're out there doing deployments, it's different because you, it's it's your responsibility to spread awareness, and yeah. therefore you have to put yourself in a situation where you pit, you let people know. But you're just a representative. You're not showing people that you're doing the charity. You're just showing people where the charity should go to. Mm. And once you know that, hopefully, inshallah, your intentions stay pure. Wait, hold on. We got a super chat. <laughs> it's back and oh, we've done it we've done it may Allah bless you oh, Pinak UK Pinak Pinak UK has said to us thank you so much for the super sounds chat sounds like an organisation 
It does. What does your name mean? Pinak. Pinak, please let me know. Okay. And uh, the person, uh, and please let me know as well, brother or sister. Just say brother or sister and say what does your name mean because I would love to know. Pinak um, Media. But the person says, may Allah bless you both. May Allah bless you. Thank you for the... I feel like... Do you ever feel like warm-hearted when someone gives you that? Yeah, of course. I feel like this one, I, I got it personal. Like it's in my heart and that. Wait, hold on. Got no, on. Super chat. <laughs> that was the know. worst nah. one. Nah, <laughs> I thought you'd be able to do it, but nah, man. I'm getting worse. I feel like I'm like. It's look, and then like has to kind of. I don't even know why I'm showing you like I know how to do it properly. Yeah, it's something like that. It's something like that. It's something like that. Like that. Like Amira H, um, may Allah bless you. I don't know if you haven't left us a, uh, um, what's it called? Comment. Any, any, yeah, anything to say. But may Allah bless you. Thank you so much for supporting the Purple Gang or Tribe. I feel like I'm changing the name of it now. Well, <laughs> <laughs> on, the mu- on your mug here, yeah, it says FG Tribe. Yeah. I think that's, that's what we call the people. Mm. Um, Positivity But obviously we, we, we wanted the current event special So we called them Purple Gang Because I just like the colour purple FG Squad FG Squad <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one actually Purple um, Squad You know what Pinax just said something yeah They've mm. just said Basically what Pinax stands for Is photography is not a crime Are you sure is that What it stands for Yeah that's what No no so Oh photography is not a crime That's so okay. weird Why is it that Alright I'd love to know why is that Why Why do you mean photography is not a, p- a crime? It's probably a photography company. Like a media Yeah, but why company. would photography be a crime? No, no, it's, it's just like, I, I know, I know, I know one thing, yeah. Oh, I know, sorry, I'm not cool. I know, <laughs> I know one company, they're called Take More Photos. <laughs> okay. So it's, like, it's, just, it's just like a slogan. But what Zach asked is, why would you not take more photos? Mm. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm just trying to play devil's advocate right now. I'm yeah, doing sincerely apologize. Photography is not a crime. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, it's just catchy. It's good. Yeah. Photography is not a crime. The creative thing. Director. Creative thing. Mm. Wait, hold on. We got a super chat. Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> you done it better, you done it better now. <laughs> no, it's alright. May Allah bless you. We've got another super chat here from Miriam Muhammad. And she says, Jazakullahu khair. 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 But we, we'll, we'll add the an. You don't have to. May Allah bless you. Thank you so much for supporting the Purple Gang, the current events team, and everybody in our lives. Do you see what Pinak just said? I myself. What did they say? So he said, um, police are abusing their powers when people take photos and videos. They arrest them or even physically, sorry, physically hurt them. Oh. Wait, hold on. We got a super chat. <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Who's this from? Who's this I feel from? like I'm learning. Uh, it's from Khadija, IDG, IDG. And, uh, yeah. and she says, Ech. may Allah put barakah in what you're doing and bless you with happiness. Right, this one, I feel it in my heart, bro. Happiness I'm telling and success, you, I feel it in my heart. Ameen, but as you put a heart there as well, but mine feels that. May Allah put barakah in what you're doing and bless you with happiness and success, inshallah. Ameen. Ameen, Ismail. Thank you so much for that. Thank you for joining. Uh, we love them comments, man. Well, I love it. I'm telling you, it's them, it's them, you know it's them du'as, yeah, that they just stick in your heart, bro. And you just feel like bare, bare cute and that. <sighs> oh, the, the the microphone tried to attack me. So many chances for Zach to practice his whoa. Who said that? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Whoa. I'm trying to I'm trying to, trying to practice and it again. Still. <laughs> sort of job. Um, go on. What was it? P- Pinak saying again? Pinak was saying that basically, um police are not letting people express themselves by taking photos and videos i think he's probably talking about like when police do like checks and stuff like and stops and searches mm. i think in it i don't know this is how i sp- interpreted it he says they, they they arrest them or physically hurt them when you're wait, so police are abusing their powers when people take f- photos and videos I'm so wait hold on oh, oh, super chat. hold on let the dude the up thing yeah and that one <laughs> I'm getting there, I'm getting there. That was right, innit? That was good, man. Allah bless you. Well, like, it's like it's like they're just trying to like give me the interruption thing, but I like that. You know what? It's all right, man. Allah bless you. Thank you so much. Well. And RB way, RB does say, May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh, I feel this one in the heart as well, my brother. Feel it. 
Reward you guys for your efforts and keep your intentions pure as always. Keep your intentions pure, I mean. Always. I should. I mean. Uh, MZ asked about the Sheikh Hassan Ali video. What is it? So, um, which Sheikh Hassan Ali vid is there? Is it there's one where he's wearing a brown jalebiya and one where he's wearing a white one? I, I think remember. it's the white one, bro. I, I remember it just from rem just remembering him wearing white. Wait, hold on. But let me say that one. Super wait, chat. Wait, wait, wait. Flicky, flicky, flicky. And down. Flicky. <laughs> <laughs> Amir Muhammad says Ramadan is coming up. May Allah accept it from all of us. Allahumma. Barak. Amin, man. Shining. shining. Absolutely shining. May Allah bless you. Thank you so much, Miriam Muhammad. And thank you so much, RB, for supporting the purple family, gang, squad, tribe, everything. The video is called How to Pass Your Exams Successfully, Sheikh Hassan Ali, um, 2012. And he's wearing a white phobe. And also, you should definitely watch the one where he's brown because he's talking. Basically, the white one is about preparing for the exams. And the one where he's wearing like the brown, brown phobe is, is titled Finding Success in Exams, um, Sheikh Hassan Ali. That one, I think, I think he speaks about, you know, your, you know as, 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 as Muslims, we should try to aim to be the best at what we do. Mm -hmm. So let's say you, you, you like, like Pinak, you like photography, aim to be the best at that. Aim to be the, the best at that. Yeah. Um, if you want to be a doctor, try to be the best at that. If you're trying to be a teacher, be the best at that. Because the Ummah needs people in high places. <coughs> Yeah, you understand. That's what I think that video is about. Definitely give that a watch. But the guys, for any you know students. what? I miss him. You know, I want to meet him. Ali. I've him. met him. I've met him. He's cool. He's is cool. It? Funny. He's funny. He's funny. I think. I think he one does a few, He does a few events. We used to do a few events in Whitechapel. Yeah. Or Stepney Green area. Nah, I just want to tell him, my brother, your video saved man in. In exam. Period. Yeah. Wallah. Obviously, Allah yeah. saved me, but. You know what? A nice. Uh, um, playlists as well mm. Sheikh um, Bilal Asad He's talking about The four imams He gives like a Like a very brief Biography of each one I think It's about Two hours each Each um, imam mm -hmm. You know what I mean the, the imams You know the different Imam Ahmed Imam uh, Do it in order Top four You trying to draw me out First, second, third, fourth Like in order I Just because I drew you out With the whole yeah. Hedge, hedge yeah. thing I got you um, Imam Ahmed Oh, in order? Yeah, in order. Chill out! I don't know. So you know the Hanafi Madhab? Oh, that's the first one. Hanafi and then Imam, Imam Malik. Yeah. And then um, I don't Imam know the order. I didn't know it was an order. Imam Shafi. I didn't know it was an order. Bro, they, they, this one, you need to watch the playlist. They were students of each other. So, so, um. Successors. Yeah, so exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's what I call it, pious predecessors. So they precede each other. Mm, exactly. There you go. I sounded I very, really smart. I sounded really smart. But yeah, smart they were there. students. They were like, they yeah. like the one that was uh, before them was the teacher of the other one, and then so on, so on. Mm. Yeah. Definitely, wow. that that playlist motivated me so much to study because their lives were dedicated to just studying the dean. Studying dean. You know what I mean. <laughs> it's with Trying me. to come clean. <laughs> the intentions have to be. Mean. <laughs> Stuff a lot. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, but you were the ad libs, bro. Yeah, it's dead. It's dead. But no, yeah, what are they saying? I, I can't lie. There's one comment I actually really, really liked. Yeah, and for me, the Taj says the best part of current events is when there's just natural chats with the viewers, mm, and I feel yeah. like I love that more because I feel like. What do you think? Should we burn off the 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 articles? <laughs> yeah, I can't. I just want to talk to you, man. <laughs> nah, it's good I to stay educated. I wish you were all of us here, man. It's good like, to stay educated. What? We saying one day they, they all come. Yeah, you know what? We fit them in the one studio. One day, yeah. One day. But in the if if we ever have like a like a live show in like we're gonna keep seats for them as well. We're gonna say RB. Yeah. For me, the Gawad. For me, the Taj. There's a VIP. There's a VIP section. Yeah. Mm. There's a few brothers and Lo uh, and my guy Laurie, obviously. A Lonnie. Yeah, Lon Lonnie, sorry. Yeah, we can bring them up to the stage and that. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. yeah. Q and A. Yeah. Come on. Once COVID just stops, then Sean, we can do that. Nah, but in the layer, yeah. you know what? This is actually like a thing that I really want to happen, isn't it? But inshallah, when the time comes, we'll have that. We'll have like, like a live event or a live show and whatnot, and then all the current events gang will be there. And then we can actually get to know each each other. But yeah. RB goes ha 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 
No, I think you missed a couple. Ha ha. Ha ha. Bilal Al Asad is the best. Not gonna lie. Yeah, he was my favorite. I, 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 I saw him in a light upon light event. Remember? Light upon light. I don't know who this guy is. Bilal Al Asad. No. Google, Google him. Google him. Bro, you definitely, definitely know Sheikh Bilal Al Asad. Definitely, bro. He's beautiful, beautiful. Um, Dawa, mashallah. Makes you fall in love with with the speech. You're lying. Mm. Very, oh, this very brother, he's got a bang his mouth, man. Like yeah, very therapeutic. You, you, yeah, mashallah. Oh, very good bla- playlists to watch. What did you talk about? Very beneficial. Like the playlist is. Oh, the one about forty imams. Forty imams, yeah. Just search Bilal Asad forty imams. Very educated. Like, you, you need to know this stuff. It like, I think everyone should should listen to it, even if you're not a student. Mm. What's been it's been? like basically a biography. But it's done briefly, but it's it's it's, it's detailed as well. Yeah. Like all the all the main things that you should know. Mm. Very motivational. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Sorry, I was just gonna say something. Yeah, in deep thought. The deer has this finger. Yeah? You know when he looks at you, it just like it just pierces the heart. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> so Sometimes when he looks at you, yeah. You gotta explain what that means, bro. Nah, uh, whoa, whoa. But, <laughs> what? Nah, whoa. can't do that. Can't do that. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Can't do that. But sometimes, yeah, he say, he'll say something proper, like serious and that, innit? <laughs> and like. And just stop talking. Nah, just stop talking. And just go. <laughs> <laughs> and you know when he does that, yeah? You're feeling it, bro. Like, you know what? Like, mashallah, I'm beg. You know what they say? You shouldn't pray someone to his face, innit? I'm gonna do it anyway. Actually, look, stop like that. <laughs> But um, go on, finish what yeah, you're I can't lie. You do this thing sometimes, isn't it? But it's like when you have so much passion in something, you everyone else feels that passion. I feel because, you because, but chill. Let me just do the talking. Mm. Um, but like, we're genuinely a long way. But uh, you you do proper. Can't say the words, but it's really nice. Inspire. Man. Yeah, inspire. Yeah. Allah bless you. Say amen. 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 But yeah, um, said Bilal speaks with so much passion that you can't help but love his lectures along there. Yeah, oh. I like the accent as well. The Australian accent. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. Still. Say the Australian accent. No, it's not like that. Got ex- Good eye, mate. No, no, no. They have Australian a beautiful. Accent. By the way, you know, mate. you know they have a beautiful um, Muslim community in Australia. Like they're very mean? tight knit. Well, uh, they have so thing. much love for each Hopeless, other. Is he um, Australian? He's Australian isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another one. Wait, hold on. We got a super chat. This one is going to go. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see. 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 let us see that's actually, you know what, you just reminded me of something as well. What? Like the charity aspect of things, like see how whatever, um, li- re- remember when we were doing the little hearts? Yeah. Remember what we would usually say about, you know, saving a person's life and how much reward it there is in it. So yeah. like w- when we were doing that. saving the whole of mankind. Yeah, exactly. When you save one life, it's as if you save the whole of mankind. And, you know, when you save, w- when we were doing the life-saving heart surgeries, yeah. we're given the analogy of, you know, you're getting the reward of every single thing that they do. So if that person prays, then you're getting that reward. When that person reads Quran or does charity, you're getting that reward. But not just that person, that person's lineage as well. So mm-hmm. like their children, I mean, their children's children. But that's why. That's why when you when you when you when you try to get into charity, you want to do things that's life changing, life saving. And when you get that sadaqah, you know every single. You know what I'm saying, though. You know he just does this thing where he looks at you, yeah. Bro, tell me you're not. Chilla. You see what I'm saying now? <laughs> it's mad, bro. Like, Berg. I don't know what. I can't deal with it, bro. Chilla. It's just like, say yes, Chilla. yes, brother, yes. <laughs> just like that. You need to do public speeches, man. You got a few comments, man. Yeah, Slim says, ba, 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 amen. <laughs> <laughs> like, Berg. But yeah. Um, Sorry, to Matt. Matt. They're talking about the. If you save one life, you save, you save um, the whole of well, mankind. I swear. Mm. Inshallah. Read what uh, Ikram said. 
I really like to watch these lives from you guys. I hope you guys keep doing the good work and may Allah forgive you guys for your sins and accept all your good deeds. I mean, I mean, that was a loud one. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to do it loud. I'm just a loud person, my brother. They call me loud. <laughs> Is it loud? You're loud. <laughs> oh, look, you commented. What? <laughs> <laughs> Is that your brother on your account? I think so. Wait mm. a second. You must, tell him you already plugged the, the Wait hoodie. Wait a second. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, do that, actually. Actually, he doesn't have my card on there. How would you put your card on? Uh, oh, you should. Hey, Zach Bendif, my brother. This is a bit mad. It's like, you know... The clone, we saying, what? The com- commenter of the week? <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly. <laughs> what stupendous hoodie? Where is it from? I'll tell you where it's from. We already did that, but let's yeah. go again. It's from Future Studios. Do you see why it's called Future Studios? No, because it's bubble. What does Animal Stuckable mean? Animal Stuckable, I don't know. Future. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 this guy, this guy is saying that, bro. Uh, so, anyway, what, what, wait. You know they're printed on Champion Hoodie? Champion. Another one. So, so, why yeah. does it say Algae is like, it's very, you know, limited to oh, like. Yeah. Just Algerians. That's where it's based. Oh, like, like, see how they say Italy? Like Italian yeah. design. Yeah, you know Balenciaga. No, not Balenciaga. Yeah, I think they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bal- Like, they yeah. have Italy. Yeah. It, or something like that. Or like Burberry, London. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Okay. So, Algiers. Smart. Huh? Smart. Algiers. Apparently, someone's asking, sorry, but what's the green drink that you're... Yeah, what well, like looks green, bro? What it is. It's a smoothie. Has a kiwi and Let me see it. lime and. Let me see it. You got it. Is it finished? It's finished. I just got it in the cup. What is it? It's a smoothie. The naked thing. Yeah. And what's what's in it? Passion fruit, kiwi, sugar. Shalom. Healthy lifestyle. Mm. The dear wicks. Tropical zing. Oh, there it is. You got. <laughs> 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 we'll do this <laughs> tropical zing with a twist of lime. Have Apple you pie. have you guys ever drank Sherny? That's oh. what Slims are saying. Yeah, no, nah, it's banging. Wait, no, no, no. MZ said that. No, nah, yeah, it's there's a lot of sugar in it. It's, it's basically syrup, syrup in it. Mm. It's nice with a little Somali cuisine, though, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Where are you going, Sahara? Or are you going? Where's the other ones? Brothers. 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 Tottenham. Yeah. Mm, they got a few in Bush. They got one in Wembley as well. Mm-hmm. It's yeah, quite a got read that. But yeah. Can you guys turn up the volume, please? It's on foot. What? Don't know what you said there. I don't understand that. Lord, forgive me. My eyes are doing some things. I think he's trying to say turn down the volume. Oh. Like, like stop screaming. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I do sincerely apologise. Min Hassan. Says, lol, forgive me, my eyes are doing things. I thought it was green milk or something. Green <laughs> milk. Like cat in the hat. Yeah. May Allah bless you. They have like green eggs and. Oh, wait, hold on. It comes in. I like that comment. I actually like this comment. She goes, uh, whenever you need energy, shout me. I got wings and that. I said that a few weeks ago. <laughs> what, Red Bull? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Get me. Energy. Benak um, asked if the Little Hearts project is still running. Yeah. Yeah. We're actually it's supposed to. We're actually supposed to go back. On deployment, yeah. But don't COVID. mind me, man. I want to cry when every time I think about it. But I can't lie, though. I've got a few vlogs on that. You remember? Yeah. Yeah, we went out there. What's it called? It's on your no, YouTube I've, channel. I vlogged them all. Yeah, on, my, on on the one that Zach Bendif just spoke about now. That that account. Yeah. That just commented. What do you order when you go brothers? Platter. The rice, new the rice spaghetti. Federation. Federation. Always, 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 always. Is that what they, they call it Federation everywhere? Yeah. I think it's because it's just a mix and match of everything. Mm. No, I like, I like the shoulder. There's a, few, there's a few brothers that actually that went out there recently to Somalia. And... Yeah, anyways. <laughs> Did what? Charity work? No, they just, they just went out there and... Uh, um, Holiday. It amazing. Hargisa and that. Hargisa? Yeah. What's that? Oh, that's another thing I could do. I could speak a bit of... Uh, Somali. Somali. Go on. What do you have on there? Bahim Huh? Bahim What does that mean? So you want to eat something. Oh. Somali and Jalai. Federation, ah. 
Somali and Jalai. But I can't lie, they speak Arabic most most of the time anyway. The Arabic's amazing as well, mashallah. You look at all like the, the, the people of knowledge here, the majority of them are Somali. Mm-hmm. Crazy, isn't it, subhanAllah? But these brothers, yeah, mm. they, they, they send their kids to like uh, Quran school from the age of three, four. They, they're half with by, by 10, 11. Mm. Yeah, they, a, lot, a lot of parents, what they, they like to do, yeah. they like to, from a young age, they get them to memorize, and when they get older, they get them to understand the verses. And then when they understand, because when they when they're young, they're not yeah. they're not really gonna understand it yeah. properly. So they just, they just focus on memorization. Hammer. But when they but if they don't if they don't focus on, you know, understanding the meaning when they grow up, like there's so many people who they learn the Quran and they they, they could have been, um, hafid or hafid. And like they just they don't understand any any, any of it. And because of that, that's they don't have the attachment to the to the Quran, yeah. even though they they've memorized most of it. Yeah, that's why sad. they say. That's yeah. why they say you understand it. Like and, and and the Quran can either be a hujja for you or hujja against you. So you can either you can. Either, I I saw this um, just before just before uh, when I was on the way here. Yeah, I saw this um, reminder. I'll show you this later. I can't remember what was exactly said, but it's basically saying how the words of Allah can either be can either be for you or against you on Qiyamah. Yeah, because if you understand something and you know that it's wrong and you still do it, then yeah. it's worse than doing it out of ignorance yeah, and not, un- not knowing that it's wrong. May Allah make it easy for us. Ameen ajma'een. Imagine going to Somali food to eat Somali food and not getting a mango lassi. Mm. Oh, slaps different. Can you speak Deli Jam? Or Amazir though. I can speak both. You can speak Amazir? Yeah. Go on. Esusab. Meaning that means be quiet. Okay. Well uh, the Ah Amazir. Ah, I'm a, it's different from Algerian. I don't know. It's actually quite similar apparently. I don't know. Yeah, Esusab means be quiet. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, can you speak it? Or do you know a few words? I can understand a few words. But my, so my, my granddad remarried. And he remarried into Allah. He remarried a uh, Amazir woman. Mm. That's why we've got a bit of that in my family now. So from my dad's side. Interesting. Get me. And obviously yeah. Derija, where she has all her best shriki, her best. That's not Derija, mate. I could do both. Our one and your one. Okay. No, yeah, you can still. I'll give you that. Kidera khuti. Fein akhai. I will. Sahara ha. I will go to Morocco, yeah. Like whenever a supermarket. Well, yeah, they'll say psaha. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he used to rinse the words that. Oh, yeah. Remember there was a back behind us Yeah And he said What did he say? He said something That was in the way To get us out of What did yeah. he say? I said, no, he said, he said <laughs> <laughs> no, what, what did he say? What did he actually say? I don't remember You know what? It's so tight in my Small hats Yeah I learned the word there innit? And I just start, I start rinsing it everywhere Bro, I, I didn't even know that word I love languages Like I always say Smahli innit? Yeah like, I'm sorry But yeah. he said He said small hats Yeah I mean, well, he's like you laughing. Know why? You know why? It's because there in, in, what's it called? In Mar- uh, in Marrakesh. Marrakesh has got a different vibe, isn't slightly, it? Slightly. Yeah. Slightly. Different kind of dialect. But it's mad. I love Ledger. language. Bro. That's why I love traveling. Just because like I love learning about cultures, languages, and stuff like that, man. It's amazing. Yeah, because lang- languages do come And in, you know what? Guess who I get it from? Who? Take a wild guess. Father. My father. <laughs> you know my dad can speak six languages. So what Fluently. No oh, way. Berg, yeah. What can you speak? He can speak Portuguese, French, uh, Fusha Arabic, um, yeah. English. Did I say Spanish? Spanish. Yeah. So I've done Portuguese, French, English, Arabic. Yeah. Um, Spanish. There's a sixth one. I can't remember. It. Italian. So My dad can speak Hebrew. Kosai, Kosai, you know Kosai? Yeah. He speaks six languages as well. Yeah, that guy's built like uh, sign up. Right, whoa, 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 whoa. His whoa. laughter. Man got hee hee. That's what that emoji basically means, isn't it? This one. Hee hee. I've got the weirdest laugh in the world, man. Allow me. So in Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, do y'all speak y'all <laughs> speak Arabic at home or French at home? In like back home, no, they Arab- speak Arab- Arab- Yeah, they speak the native language. Yeah, Arab- but Arab- in, in like institutions like universities and stuff, it'll probably be like French. Yeah. Right. Um, English is becoming uh, quite popular in Algeria as well. You can say English, but mostly French. Yeah. 
French is a second language. I, yeah. I can understand a lot of French. Uh, my my speaking isn't the best. They're at GCSE and an A level. Hey, someone Junior Jack was FC. We're gonna play um, a friendy, by the way, Maghreb FC. He oh, said they're young. Is it? Yeah. Oh, you know them. Yeah. Okay, sick. They play like five aside. Oh, we play five aside. Don't worry, we'll do that. But they said Zach learn bro, Bengali. Like they like said 12, bro. Zach learn Bengali, please. They're bro. like thirteen. You gonna play at thirteen year olds? No, we will get off thirteen year olds. Oh, I say that. You know what what but they said, learn Bengali, please, lol. Teach me one word right now. Um, Keta Koise? Yeah, it's something easy, bro. No, no. Ke- bro, I've known this word since primary school. Keta Koise? Keta Koise? It means, what did you say? Keta See keta that? Koise? But do you know, do you know what? Do you know yeah. why I learned that? I learned that basically to show that I know Bengali. Because I told people, <laughs> yeah, I know Bengali. And they'll say some words, innit? And I'll say, Keta Koise? And they'll give, oh, you do know. Keta Koise? It means, what did you say? What did you say? Yeah, Balani means how are you? Like G Ket- or G O A. Why did you have a lot that. of Bengalis in your school? Yeah, no, nah, well, yeah, nah, there's a masjid, local masjid that was um, run by mm-hmm. Westminster Bengali Association. Mm. So yeah, they w- I was the only non Bengali in the mosque. Koise? Uh, they used to show bare love to me though. Because mm-hmm. I was the, uh, basically, but you know what? They, speak, they don't really speak much English, like the uncles. Mm-hmm. But they used to show me mad love. Like iftar time, they used to always feed me the, the most. Bengali right. food. Junior Jaguars said they're, they're down. Go play 13 year olds. What area? We're down, bro. Demio Hill. They're like my bits. Okay, we'll play them. Come, you can come. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. When, when it what area? <laughs> <laughs> no, when, when it comes to when it comes to this competition football thing, I'm saying oh, you switch bro. it up. I, I I can you put that? Can you put can you put the Arabic coming up? Yeah. Let them read that. <laughs> <laughs> Where is that? Put it up then. Oh, that's a bit slow for me. Wait, hold on, it's gonna come up soon. Please move down inside, inside the, the bus. bus. Customer number four, please. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's gonna come. We're waiting for it to come up. Calm. Oh, I see. I do sincerely apologise. Well, oh, there it is. Can you see it? Yeah. Go on. <laughs> oh my <laughs> thing <laughs> Yeah, I've I've learned um Moroccan Derija. Oh my thing <laughs> It translated wrong by the way. <laughs> hey, yo, man. Chilla. You, you know it's that's ah oh, there's a funny story in it about Google yeah. Translate, but I don't know if I just say yeah. I used to be in the library, innit? Yeah. And it's Dead quiet, mm-hmm. dead quiet. This is late night as well, like 7 p.m. Everyone's like pretty much gone home. Yeah. I'll go on like the library. Uh, I'll go on Google Translate, put it on the loudest as well, innit? Yeah. And I'll be like, I'll just say funny stuff in it on Google Translate. I'll play out loud and everyone will like, be laughing, like looking up. Who is that? They do that. That's like YouTube facts that do that. Yeah, I think that's yeah. where I got the idea from, maybe. But yeah, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> do you know Moroccan rolling stock? Yeah, that's what that's what it translated it to, but it was a rolling stock. I've no idea. Pem t sheep. I'm a pem to wear, look. In the day, you sound like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's about? Google Translate. That wasn't me. But I'm only allow us, man. So, do you guys speak Arabic or do you know Arabic? I can understand it. Remember in Egypt, bro, they were laughing at us. Yeah. <laughs> nah. I'm we'll be now, talking dirty, I'm, now, I'm now a lot more familiar with the Egyptian um, dialect. Dialect. How comes? I've got a lot of friends that are Egyptian. All oh, right. Mm. And they just teach me a lot. And I love them. A lot. Anyway. Um, Ikram Zain said, say, wait, we, we have to translate that first. Um, that means, how are you in the Ethiopian language? Mmm. Yeah. People do it to the same view so as you do. Okay, I think, you know what? We've been talking for ages, Nadir Jabari. Yeah. We've enjoyed real. today, haven't we? Yeah, oh, we've it's probably the longest we've ever spoken. Well, I'm just deepening it right now. We've been on here <laughs> for 108 minutes. You know what? This is extra the time, bro. Penalties? <laughs> it looks like it. Can we say Instagram Live? Penalties. Um, but yeah. So, we're forgetting one thing. What do you think that is? Comments of the week. That's what I was thinking. Comment of the week. 
cool. All right, cool. Uh, Slim I... came in a bit late. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Pinak UK. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what you need to do? And then he saw the You need to move the microphone this way, and we need to mime to each other who might be coming to the UK. All right, cool. Yeah, 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 So, countdown, please. Three, two, one. We give it to Pinak UK. Thank you so much for being commenter of the week today, Pinak UK. Honestly, you just helped us with everything today. You've just been everywhere. You know them that footballer, yeah? Mm. That's just like DM... Just like box the box, box the box. That's it. Pick, picking up balls, spraying it left and right. Get me like Salah when he's playing FIFA, he just puts it everywhere and it's long, and then you can't play FIFA anymore because you hate the game because he's too good. But Lama Bear, get me like that, just everywhere. Mm. That's Pinak UK today. Yeah, I think Pinak probably commented on most articles as well. Yeah. Yeah, Kante. Yeah. Mashallah, Lama Bear. Lama Bear, Kante. We'll this episode has given us Duolingo vibes. But anyway, we've enjoyed it so much. Have you enjoyed it? Mm. I feel like I've been talking for ages. Wow. Wow. We don't mind that, though. So, comment of the week goes to Pinak UK. May Allah bless you, my brother. And Pinak, what does the name mean again? Photography is not illegal. (laughs) It's not a crime. (laughs) (laughs) It's pretty much... Chill out. (laughs) Pinal. (laughs) Pinal. Pinak, may Allah bless you. Uh, so f- has proper area. Photography is not a crime. Photography is not a crime. That's, uh, so that's what we've learned today. We've learned quite a few things. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, I feel like we rounded it up. It's been 110 minutes. And yeah, we all need to go do things in our lives. But thank you so much. Well, I've enjoyed it so much. You guys have been amazing. Join us next week, 7 p.m. on a Tuesday. Be there or be square. And for me, I say, Salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Are you going to do the quiet thing? Mm. Till next time. Salamu alaikum. Got some bars to write, though. Yeah, you got some bars. Write that.